We should be live right now. Let me just check everything's up. Up and running, but I hope everyone's doing well. It is Wednesday, I believe. So let's check the audio. Okay, audio's on. Nice. Okay, good. Nice. Alrighty, so we're just jumping right back into it. I um was going to play Battle Cats, but I switched my mind last second because I was like, uh, I just want to chill out a little today. So I was like, okay, let's just load up some Burrito Bison. And I and I was like, you know, I just kind of want to play Burrito Bison. So here we are. Also, I got a lot planned this week, so. Okay, nice. Whoa. Hey, we got like a percentage off. We can buy that. Nice. There we go. But I uh, hope everyone's doing well. And okay, then. We almost off the bat got that elimination. But yeah, today's just going to be a chill day. Nothing crazy. Uh, we got some more stuff planned for the weekend, tomorrow, and everything. But um, we're jumping right into it. Whoa. We're going, our guy's going super fast right now. I was like, where did I leave off on this? Hi, welcome. Question. What's the lore behind the injured employee? The injured employee, employee is an interesting one. So the lore behind the cat, I call him Hurt Cat, is that, um, is that there may be rumors that he's not actually injured and is faking it. I don't know. They're just rumors, though. I can't say nothing, but he's got a deep lore to him. <laughs> So there's people around the office saying he's actually not injured. But um as the boss, as the CEO of Fruitler, I cannot um just make an accusation like that. So it's just a rumor. So he's got a deep lore. <laughs> Welcome to stream. Wait, let me hear if the Okay, nice, the audio is good. Nice. There we go. We're not watching the ad. But yeah, that's that's just the rumor going around for him. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Hi, Fruitler. Hi, welcome to stream. I think you're the one that requested Battle Cats, right? I was going to play Battle Cats today, but then uh, I switched my mind last second because um, I was like, I think it's going to be a little too much for me right now, and I just want to play Burrito Bison, but welcome. <laughs> but we'll play it another day. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, uh, the lore on all the characters, it's, it's expanding for sure. But the cat, I don't know. I just imagined my characters being like in, a, in an office type episode. You know what the office is? Like, just imagine that. That's how I imagined the Fruitler office would be like. It'd be crazy. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, we have a lot of... Uh, this weekend's going to be crazy for sure. Um... Tomorrow's going to be a podcast again. I have that. I still need to set it up more, but hopefully that goes well. Friday, still debating what I want to do because I know this weekend's going to be crazy because this weekend is going to be the big one where we start our Cuphead series. And that's going to be pretty wild. Well, hopefully it is. I don't know. We'll see, but we got the Cuphead. Oh, we're not. We're missing a lot. We're missing a lot of these. Come on. You should, if you have free time, make a series about your employees. Yeah, I still need to expand the lore. Especially if they're going to be the face. I always say this. And I want to learn Photoshop to edit them into the office. <laughs> Go ahead. You, you're free to do as you wish. <laughs> but I, especially like, I keep saying all this stuff about the employees. And then like, oh, they're the brand. They're the face of the Rudler brand. But I'm like... If I don't even have a lore or anything, it's like, it's going to be, I need to start getting on that for sure. I can teach you Photoshop. Yeah, for sure. Or you can look up videos or whatever. It's good. Um, just, just looking up courses or whatever, or if people are willing to help, there's always plenty of resources available. But yeah, this weekend is going to be exciting. I have a whole, so I bought Cuphead because uh, I was like, if the thing gets 10, um, votes on my community tab i was like i buy i'll buy cuphead and turns out it i i got the um we got like 20 votes that said like yeah buy cuphead i was like okay then <clears throat> i was like all right so we're buying cuphead and i got some costumes everything ready for that weekend so i'm excited i'm hoping it goes well hoping people like it 
and we'll kind of see from there. So what I plan to do is still like weekdays, I will do my random stuff and then weekends maybe focus more on Cuphead. Because it's going to take a while for sure to beat it, I think. But yeah, I I, keep, I need to keep reminding myself, I gotta, I gotta make, make more lore or fruitler team. <laughs> I need to make, if I'm going to make this more of a brand, then I need to put more into my character and stuff. Because <laughs> everyone's always asking, tell us more about the guys. Like, what's going on with them? Like, I don't even know myself. <laughs> like, they're crazy, but <laughs> they're crazy for sure. But yeah, that that's how I envision it. Like, something like The Office. Because they're wild. So, like, I, I think I explained a little bit more of the lore last time. But... I think I said like yellow and brown are supposed to be what I think envision them. They're going to be like adopted brothers from so they're going to be living together, but they're not blood related, but they're they're like brothers and they're kind of chaotic. And then um, blue obviously is the, the leader. So he's like the brains of the operation. Uh, the, the cat is hurt, injured, and more mysterious. And then um. Purple's kind of just chilling. I don't really have anything crazy for purple. purple. More of the chill, like, make sure everything runs smoothly, I guess. I don't know. I don't know yet. But, uh, it's, it's gonna be wild. <laughs> Yo, why are we not breaking through? Uh, let's get the... We said... Someone said last time, get Cake Eater 3.5 mil. Uh, we'll get that next. That's fine. But yeah, a lot, a lot of exciting things, uh, gonna be happening this week and this weekend but unfortunately i can't do a crazy long cuphead thing i want to do a long cuphead like a oh we got to the top nice i wanted to do a long cuphead stream on saturday but i have to get a haircut saturday so i cannot um it'll be an hour or two nothing crazy fyi the main game takes ten and a half hours and the dlc takes three and a half for main objectives only yeah so I, I had a feeling it's pretty long, which is good. That's like a decently um uh decently sized game. So it's gonna once again, like it's gonna take us a while, maybe a month or two, especially if I'm like focusing more weekends and stuff. Like I'm not just gonna be playing just Cuphead, but that will be the main focus. And knowing my skill, I will take a while. So if it takes like let's say a total of 15 hours guesstimating to finish it, it'll probably take me like 25, 30 hours. And then if I if I can, so the objective first for the Cuphead series is just to be able to beat it. So like not focusing on you know getting all the side quests or what I don't know everything about it. It's just to be able to beat it because I'm scared of it. I don't even know if I can beat it because I know Cuphead is a little more difficult of a game. But if we can get good in it, then maybe we'll try and um uh make more content on it. Say like oh 300 percent or whatever. 100% completion takes 35 hours for both DLC and main game. Okay. <clears throat> so it'll probably take me like... Honestly, it's going to take us a couple months. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. But once again, I think Cuphead was a good investment. A, it was on sale. But there's a spring sale right now for the... Uh, there's a spring sale going on right now for Steam. So I think it's a good investment. And... um. So we got it. I'm glad I got it. So I like the art. I've always liked Cuphead art. I've always liked the theming of it. It's just that I never got a chance to... I never bought it myself. That That's the thing. But I, I think it would be a good series. I think it's something that will match the community vibe as well. You know? I think the community will... Um, definitely be on board. Well, I already, I already asked, though. So we'll see how it goes. I, I, I don't know. Once again, I'm not the greatest at gaming but the objective is just to beat it even like if we're having a hard time like just taking our time and trying to beat it is definitely the goal so we'll see and then after that series we'll we'll kind of see from there what we want to do see see if like once again everything is day by day with this channel oh i didn't know he dropped a money bag i didn't know that but yeah definitely it's gonna take um Oh, well. <laughs> Just to say the least. But I hope it 
we have a good time to say uh the least like having good times like the bare minimum i'm looking for i need to start i'm i'm gonna market it a little bit for the stream so hopefully we can get more people to join the community but if not it, it kind of is what it is it is what it is but that's kind of what i have going on this week so we're going to be semi busy just setting everything up first well we're going really fast setting everything up first will probably take a while but then after that we should get into the groove of things i think we need more cake eater critical ah, no critical unlucky uh what other things are there though what other things? Uh, I don't think anything on top of the mind right now that I can think of. And just mainly focusing on the Cuphead revamp or Cuphead series. Uh, getting ready for some of the podcast and oh, Fruitler Gauntlet. I was going to ask about the Fruitler Gauntlet. What games? I don't know if I'll do the Fruitler Gauntlet this week. I'm still debating on that. Because I don't know if I have enough games to load up and if it will be achievable. And I don't want it to collide with the, um, what's it called? I don't want it to collide with the, what's it called? I forget what it's called. Whatever it is, but anyways, we're just chilling today. Nothing crazy. I lost my mouse. Where's my mouse? There we go. There we go. We got the money back finally. Wait, is this audio too loud? Okay, no, it's not too loud. You should play Battle Cats and the Fruit of the Gauntlet and just beat the first chapter. So for Fruit of the Gauntlet, it works better for with like PvP games or like having more of a, an objective. Because like those type of games are better just to play like uh, for a stream. You know what I mean? Like, those are better streaming games, but Fruit of the Gauntlet, I need to make it so... Uh, more like, achievable tasks and repeatable tasks. <laughs> but once again, uh, we're seeing... I can add some mobile games, too, to the Fruit of the Gauntlet. But, uh... Once again, it's all up in the air on what's gonna happen. <laughs> I think I should've just played Battle Cats today. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> I just, the thing about Battle Cats, I like Battle Cats. It's just that it gets so difficult late game, and I, I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> I just wish Battle Cats was just like chill. Hi, welcome to stream. Team Fortress 2, maybe. I, I'll maybe. I don't, I never played Team Fortress 2, actually. I could add that, though. I think the games I have now, I don't, I was going to have like Fortnite and stuff in it, but my Fortnite doesn't work well as a thing. But like, I was gonna have a racing game. I was gonna have Catamon. I don't know if any of you know that game. I'm kind of just working with that. What <clears throat> through whatever free games I have, and then seeing from there. And then also, it has to be achievable. For the further gauntlet, it has to be achievable. And what happens? So like, it can't just be like, let's say Warzone or something, right? Well, I could add Warzone. But like I would be terrible. I don't think I could get a win in Warzone. So like even though Warzone's free, I'd have to have like So it's a balance between all the free games and games I have and then things I can accomplish. And also having the um a goal. So like if I was to include a game that was not let's say PvP, right, in the Fruit of the Gauntlet, so it'd have to be like, you know, Catamon nice. It has to be like a, let's say I played, it's not going to be Temple Run, right? But let's say I played Temple Run, right? Then it has to be like, oh, I have to get like 10,000 steps in Temple Run or something. I don't know. Once again, it's still a lot of thinking in the progress of it. But um, once again, my focus is mainly on, on Cuphead this week going smoothly. Because I, I want that to go, uh, I'm, I'm going to try and market more for it. Are oh, you posting on socials and everything? So hopefully we can get more of a crowd for the um, Cuphead. But once again, I don't think I'll... <laughs> the sad part is I think the stream will only be an hour or two. Because I don't... I have to leave early on Saturday. Since I need to get a haircut. <laughs> I was like, no. But they didn't have any other time. But it's fine. 
And then we'll probably resume Sunday if I have time. And then for the weekdays, we'll just continue. Wednesday, I'll probably play mobile game. Thursday, podcast if I can. And Friday, Fruit of the Gauntlet or whatever we have in mind. You know? Nothing too crazy. But yeah, I still need to... So yeah, I, I need, I need still, there's still a lot of things to think about. But I will be putting out, if you're here now, I'll, I'll let you in on a little secret. I'm going to put out a promotional thing on the community tab for Cuphead on Friday, I believe, to promote it. So it'll be like a poster. I have like some things for Cuphead to make it more intriguing. Because <laughs> I don't, I don't want that money and time to go to waste. <laughs> But I'm, I'm definitely, I'm definitely excited for the game. I saw some clips and everything. It's a little difficult. I've seen the gameplay. It looks a little difficult. Actually, not a little. It looks pretty difficult. I'm not going to lie. But, um, I don't think it'll be impossible. I think it'll be, excuse me. I think it'll be, um, I should be able to beat it. Honestly, hopefully. Actually, I don't know. We'll see. We have to see. I'm posting in the Discord once I see it. Got it. Thank you. I appreciate that. But, um... Yeah, so I think most of the things for the... I will start to update my socials and stuff, but just be on the lookout. I will post most updates and everything on YouTube community tab. Because I was like, you know what? All the socials and everything are great. I know people say always market yourself on the different platforms. But I'm pretty lazy right now, so everything will be funneled pretty much into this YouTube channel. So any updates or anything that's important, really, uh, will probably be in the community tab or posted on my YouTube. Now, like, you can follow my TikTok and Google, or YouTube shorts and stuff, but, like, I'll have some promotional videos there, too. But everything will be mainly on this channel. So I'll just use this channel as my form of communication for everything. It's easier and then... I don't have to be split up on all those places and and also making all the clips and everything was so much work it was so much work for such a little reward but i know to all, all the like people say you gotta get on tiktok you gotta get on insta and everything and post but, like i don't make many clips like that makes sense if i had clips to post but more mine's more just like news on what's going on for the channel it's like hey we're gonna be putting this or doing that nothing like Oh, look, he has a funny clip. I'm like, nah, I don't really have many clips <laughs> to post. <laughs> It'd just be me playing like Burrito Bison just talking for like an hour. Uh, you should try Cuphead with only starting, only the starting gun as the weapon. You can use the whole, you can use the whole, uh, use the whole game when you get good at this. Got it. Well, once again, we're just going to see. I'm just going to try it out like. Regardless of what happens, I'm just going to, for the first time, run through my games instead of op trying to optimize and everything. I'll look at chat and everything, of course, but I'm just going to try and play it. I think that would be the best way so I can learn the game and stuff like just taking a fresh take. Because uh, that's what gaming, I think, is supposed to be just going in blind and just trying out whatever works. And then if we, if we, okay, so I'll tell you this. If we manage to get good at Cuphead, right? I don't think we will. But if somehow I'm like, let's say I'm super broken, right? I play for, I beat the game somehow. And I'm just like cracked at the game. I'm insane, right? Then we'll start to make challenges with Cuphead. And I'll start to do that. But if not, and I suck and we barely beat the game. And it's terrible. Then I will probably just beat it and call it there. <laughs> But I have to consider like if we end up getting a lot of viewers and stuff. Then maybe I'll... I'll I'll pursue Cuphead a little more, but I've been looking at the other games too. But once again, these are all great suggestions. I saw other games for the Steam sale. So, once again, if this playthrough with Cuphead goes well, then I will... Um, and we end up getting some more viewers and, you know, everyone's enjoying. Then I'll consider doing another game, asking the community what they want to see, or me picking one myself. And then seeing from there. And then continuing with another one. But I did buy another game. I'm not going to say what game I bought. Because I don't want to spoil anything. But I will say. Okay we'll say for Cake Eater. I will say for the summer sale. I bought Cuphead and the DLC. But I ended up buying another game. 
because it was on sale, it was very cheap, and in case I play it later. But I'm not going to say what it is, but I think it was highly requested by the community. The game I'm referring to. Once again, it's all up in the air. We just have to go day by day. See what's going on. You should play Learn to Fly. That sounds like an interesting one. Why does it kind of sound like it's one of those games that's like the... um, uh, Like the, the platformers where it gets super difficult. Well, what happened? Why did why did the cannon not go? Why did the cannon like bug out? It sounds like what was that game that got really popular for a small second? All the like only up is that what it's called? Only up? See a game like only up, I would lose my mind. I could not beat that. I would cry. Like that game, I would actually lose my mind. Learn to fly three though. Let me look it up. Learn to fly three. Learn to fly three. Oh. Oh, I've played this game. I've played this game. That's interesting. That's an interesting one. That's like a game, um... I think... Do you know what his name is? Da do you know any, any of you all know Dangerously Funny? Is that his name? I think it is. But I think he's played that game. He plays those type of games. It's like Burrito Bison in the style of Earn Money. And yeah, yeah, exactly. I know what you're talking about. I've seen that game before. I've seen Dangerously Funny play it, I think. I think that's his name. He plays all the mobile games and he does, um... He will, like, max out everything and stuff. He'll do that format. He's good content, for sure. But, um... You shoot a penguin into the space. Yes, I know him. I like watching him. I watched it so long ago. Yeah, yeah. He has, um... Yeah, he's that style of that... Thumbnails, like, oh, level or, like, zero income to, like... A million, and then... But he'll play all the all different types of mobile games and just like max out everything. <laughs> I'm like, bruh. But like, I think he he makes enough from definitely his views that he can just like go ahead and just go instantly and max out everything. <laughs> but like, not for me. I'm so free to play. I'm like, I could never. Every once in a while, I watch him again. Made a start doing fishing game videos. Yeah, he has a lot of. I think he played Burrito Bison 2 in the past. But I think there's a lot of people like that format that does. I don't know if he's the first one to do it. I doubt he is. But um, he's the first one I know that does that type of style. But a lot of people do that type of style. I tried to copy it with last time I played Burrito Bison. I tried to copy it with the thumbnail. But um, it didn't look that good. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It looked pretty bad. <laughs> I was like, yo, what am I doing, man? It looks like garbage. <laughs> but um anyways yeah uh so that that's the main stuff for this week once again i don't know if i'll do the i'm still hesitant oh we got to the next um area nice still hesitant on deciding whether we'll do the fruit or gauntlet or take a break this week because once again i'm still thinking of games to play but um i'll let y'all know but it'll definitely be Cuphead starting soon. I got the perfect game for you. Hydraneer. I think I've heard of that game before. Hydraneer. One second. Let me get this first. Oh, bounce. Get this. Let me look it up in a second. I, d I didn't get the money back. It's fine. Hydraneer. Okay, that game looks extremely interesting. <laughs> I don't know if that'll be my style, but it, it's, it's definitely something. I can see the resemblance in the thumbnail. Yeah, not this thumbnail. The, today's thumbnail was um a last second. But last week's thumbnail, I tried it. I don't think it worked. Because <laughs> I don't think we had any new uh, viewers come in. <laughs> but um, it was, it was worth a shot. <laughs> It was worth a shot because I, I once again I need to make things more enticing because I don't think any new because it's still finding out how to open up the channel to new people obviously it's to make sure my content is good enough so the people that are currently heal, here will still enjoy and stay and also opening up to different people so we can get a wider audience obviously but that'll take time I think you should just use more vibrant colors bigger font maybe tilt the text a bit yeah definitely 
The green color is good, but the red seems um dull. Yeah, like I don't know, dude. Making thumbnails is so hard. <laughs> like you see, thumbnail is definitely vital for sure. Thumbnail and title one hundred percent is is key in um getting people to click. It's just that I don't know when I make it, it looks so bad, and then I see other people, I'm like. Okay, theirs looks insanely good. And I try to copy it. And it just ends up looking like garbage again. I'm like, bro, how do they make it look like that? I'm like, what are they using? Are they probably... I know, like, they're paying people, right? If you're a really big streamer, then you just pay someone to make it. Oh my, like, I obviously can't afford that. <laughs> but I need to make the thumbnails and titles better so we get more clicks. Because I can't ex just, just expect people to click it and be like... Oh, yeah, let's just watch this random guy randomly. It's like, that's not... We're not going to get much growth. How we're going right now. Can you sometimes play balloons with viewers again? I don't know. The playing with viewers thing, it just... It was so chaotic. And just too much work. And I didn't like it much, to be honest. <laughs> so maybe... I, I don't want to guarantee anything. Maybe we'll do something with viewers in the future. But once again, like... I think doing things with viewers, like playing the games and stuff, it's hard to organize. Like it, you get a lot more views, but it's like it kind, it's kind of forced because people don't care about the channel really; they just care about playing. If that makes sense, so it's hard to translate those people to say, let's say I play like a let's play like Cuphead, right? They will be higher chance to um, unsubscribe and not stay. But we'll see, I don't know. Once again, it's all it's all open. It's all open. But I think for now I'm just gonna keep it simple. Just do just variety of content, just focus on trying to make things more interesting. I think that's definitely my goal, trying to make things more interesting so people wanna watch. As in like making challenges, making um interesting series, you know, making the thumbnails, um, uh, titles better making the indie games but I played a couple of good indie games recently the thumbnails can definitely use some work on those something I like about the thumbnails is using the employees yeah exactly so I always have to incorporate the employees because definitely if I want them to be the brand I need them to be in everything to, so people get used to it so people get used to seeing it so they'll associate my channel and the employees together so that is definitely something vital that has to always be included. But that's why I need to think of further incorporation. I need to dress them up. I need to get them their lore, which is being highly demanded, their names. And um, uh, yeah, I got to get all that situated. Because um, that that's definitely vital in branding. But mainly, once again, all none of that matters unless I make uh, better content. Because at the end of the day, if you can convince someone to click on your channel, but they don't care for it, then like, that's not good either. <laughs> but um, I'm still happy where we're at. We're slowly growing. We're slowly growing. I don't know if any of the people that... I've gotten some subscribers, but I think they're mainly from the indie game indie games i've been playing but i'm curious to see how that translates if any of the subscribers will ever come to the live streams and if any people that come from live streams will ever see the content because that's something that's well is definitely interesting this is almost like i run two separate channels because i i try to keep the live streams and um the live streams and daily content separate because I don't like them to be the same. I used to like, you know, like the easiest way to do it, not the easiest, but like the most efficient way is just to stream on Twitch and then do that one content and from that content, clip it and then make like a YouTube video from it. But once again, like I don't really make many clips. I tried all this before, but I was like, I didn't really like it. So I'm just chilling now. I see the content and watch the live streams. Yeah, that's awesome. I know, I know a lot of you um uh 
watch both, which is great. And I hope you're enjoying them. Like, the indie games have been great. But I try to make it so both are different, so they're both interesting. So, let's say, like, oh, you like only the indie games, but you don't like the live streams. That's completely fine. Then you can just watch the live streams or the indie games. Or let's say, oh, I don't like any of the indie games, but I like the live streams. Then you can join the live streams. Or if you like both, you like both. That is great as well, too. I just like providing a lot of variety. Because I'm like, I don't really like... I think repurposing the live stream and the... Um, YouTube content together, it's like, gets repetitive. Especially if you, the people that watch it both... It's good for people that only like to watch a certain style. But I feel like for the people that like both... It's just repetitive, so there's like you just gotta watch one, you know? Unless like you change it up, I guess. But this way it's like all di it's always different. Seven hour twenty minutes Hollow Knight, I'm not even like a fourth of the way through. Yeah, I tried Hollow Knight, it's a really cool game. I got stuck though. Hollow Knight may be a game if people want to see later I may purchase, depending. Maybe. We'll see, I think, like, that type of vibe definitely resonates with my community right now. Like, I think, you know, Hollow Knight Cuphead. And that style, people like. How many watch hours do you need to be monetized? So we need at least 3,000. We're at 2,100. And we have one month or two months to get it. To get 900 views. So... I think we're not going to get it, which is okay. So if we don't get it, we'll just start fresh. And it'll just be like a new year. But um, it'll just take time once again. Yay! But once again, I'm hoping we can get some views with this Cuphead series. I doubt it, honestly. I doubt it. But um, once again, the focus just is just having a good time and trying to build the community up. Just grow. So my tactic is more like a slow and steady growth instead of like a huge like boost early. Because once again, the way I'm streaming and making content, it's hard to grow fast. Or hard to grow at all because you're playing such a variety so people get like all mixed up. They don't really like that. They like one content only, I think. But uh, that's fine once again. I'm kind of just doing what I want. Excuse me there. I'm kind of just doing what I want. And just chilling. We're just chilling, having a good time, just talking, figuring things out. But yeah, I, I definitely need to get on the socials and start marketing more. And incorporating my guys. And making better thumbnails. And increasing the content. Yada, yada, yada. All the above. This is, um... This is the life of a content creator. You gotta be creative, honestly, too. You gotta you gotta be really creative. So wait, what time is it for you? It's 6 o'clock PST. 6 p.m. PST. Whoa. Siri just went off. What was that? Why does my Siri keep going off? That's weird. <clears throat> but, um, so yeah, all my time zones are PST. Pacific. So I, I always like to clarify that. In the streams or in the community post i usually write pst right i think so i think so but yeah once again i keep on researching i'm saying okay so what what thing could i play that i think would be interesting but will also get some views i don't know like youtube recommendations oh it's nine o'clock est for me oh got it est but um I've been trying to get some ideas from the YouTube gaming, what they're doing live. I've been looking at Twitch, but because I'm mainly sticking to YouTube lives, I've been looking and say, okay, so what's popular on YouTube lives? But like, it's been kind of just providing, like leading me towards junk. Not junk, but it's like the same content or like, it doesn't recommend you a lot. Like the recommend system is not great. It would just recommend you like the same things and then all the top people are playing like the same thing but it's interesting though like youtube has a big um 
like mobile game following. Like the top ones I see is like, I don't know if you know this, Gay Arena Life and like PUBG. But I think all those people playing are international. It's very, very interesting. It's very different. Like all those things, I'm like, what's going on? But I'm um, here I am playing some burrito bison. <laughs> That's what we're doing today. Wait a minute, let me check this real quick. Okay, there we go. But yeah, what else is there? What else is there? Oh, KO, nice. We got it. Oh, we're KOing them more. I think we should upgrade them. Actually, how much does a KO give is my question. I don't even know. But I'm trying to see too, like, what elements will make the live stream more enticing. Without deviating too much from what I do. Because I'd obviously I don't want to fake it and be like, oh yeah, you know. Yada, yada, yada. And like make like clips of saying all this stuff. But then I think I saw Queso. I think Queso was on a podcast with Jinx. Yeah, I saw it like clipped or something. And I think he mentioned like, um, you want to make the clips, right? So people on social see, but you want it to match your stream. Which I thought was like really good advice. Because he's like, you don't want to just make, let's say like you clip farm, right? And then you make something really funny. But then it's like your stream has nothing to do with that. So like even if you manage to, p to get people to tune in, they won't stay. So you have to keep within your realm. Like obviously keep improving, but you have to keep the style not too deviated from your um, content. So that's why I'm like, I don't try and deviate too much because I don't want to false advertise. Because once again, my streams are just chill. AK, they're pretty boring. <laughs> For the one you just KO'd is 1800 money. Oh, got it. Yeah, we need to probably upgrade the... We need to upgrade them. They don't give enough money. Oh, nice. We reached the roof. This guy is really good, though. Because he can fly. This fly mechanic makes it, makes it so we can reach the sky. And once you reach the sky, you just kind of just... You're chilling. Honestly, we got to get more of a wall breaker. Okay, there we go. Are we almost there to the wall? We're not there yet. Come on. No, 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 trap. Unlucky. Unlucky. But yeah, once again, I've been going around YouTube and seeing other... Um, live streamers what they're doing and stuff I'm like I saw one of these guys I'm like he has some cool overlays and stuff so I don't know I actually prefer chill <laughs> chill slash boring streams thank you I'll take that as a compliment <laughs> but you see like I could like let's say like I managed to do a funny clip right and then post that and it goes viral it will it can get people to stream but like once they see my stream and they just see I'm chilling and just not doing anything crazy, then they won't stay. So there's no point of advertising like that. Before I tried it, but like, it's not good because your retention's super low. So like everyone, you'll get people to stop by, but they'll all unsubscribe in a sense. And they won't stick around. So like, I'd rather just say what I, I'm doing now and say like, okay, if you like it, you like it. If not, no worries. And just kind, kind of just garner people that enjoy this content. So that's why it's going to be a steady grind. It's a steady grind, but this is better for the future of the channel. Because then our community will be more solid. And they're like, okay, people actually like what's going on. And they're actually like fans and enjoy. Rather than having like a bunch of inflated things and saying like all this stuff. Because to me, there's no point in, let's say, like, you have, like, a million subscribers, right? Let's say I managed to get a million subscribers, but then at the live streams, there's only, like, 50 people. I'm like, what's the point of having all the subscribers? I'm like, that you don't really have a million then. You only really have, like, 50 to 100 subscribers that actually enjoy everyone else. You got to subscribe and... I'd Because I'd rather have, like... Could you post advice clips from the podcast? Oh, maybe, maybe I could. 
I could post some advice. Oh, I can make some mo daily motivational um uh things too. Post post podcast and I hope you all have been enjoying the podcast recently. Or daily motivation on channel. Um yeah, I hope you've all been enjoying the podcast. I've been trying to, you know, do some more stuff on that. <laughs> But yeah, I, I can definitely uh clip around that. But uh what was I saying? But yeah, I, I like how oh I missed. I can't believe I missed. I just like the variety too. And oh yeah, I was saying about community. I'd like I say I'd rather have a community, right? Let's say it's small. Let's say we only have like ten followers, ten subscribers, but all ten are always showing up to all the live streams and they're all showing up to the, like watching all the content. In my eyes, that's way better than having, you know, a hundred subscribers and you get like one to two viewers. I'm like, to me, then like, so the number's not so important. I just care more about engagement and growing the community. Because that's definitely um, better. And it gets less boring. Let's be real. You don't want to just be in the live stream and there's just like one. Or zero people in the live stream like live streams are definitely more fun when there's uh, a lot more people but if we get a lot more people then i have to moderate way more than <laughs> i learned that too now like before i think the problem one of the problems with my channel is that i didn't moderate enough because i was just so concerned about getting the views and everything like i didn't care how like people acted like People get too on the internet, I think. So like, now I just mod like crazy. I say like, I don't see, I don't like something or something. Like, I just, I just ban it. <laughs> I'm like, I don't even care anymore. And it feels so much better. I'm just like, why do I have to like, I'm like, I don't have to have all these people around. I'd rather just have people that want to see the content rather than just have a bunch of randos, if that makes sense. Maybe yeah, I can start posting some advice here and there on the socials, maybe. I was thinking of doing that, but I was self-conscious that it wouldn't be getting any views or anything. But once again, I, I got to stop thinking so much. Hey, you know, forget views. Just make what you want to make and make better content. Like, can this be useful to somebody, maybe? Saying maybe. So, yeah, I can, I can look into that. Maybe my social will just be motivational stuff. And also, I'm going to be using the socials for advertising when I have like a big stream. Like, once again, I, I said Cuphead, I have some posters ready and everything. So that's going to be interesting for sure. Definitely for the bigger streams, I, I start to um, plan more in advance. For like the mobile streams and like the chill streams, it's, it's more relaxed, nothing planned really. It just come on, talk, chill, and play. But definitely for like the bigger streams like Fruit of the Gauntlet and um, like the uh, the Cuphead and future Let's Plays and big events. Let's say I'm doing like a huge speedrun challenge. Then there'll be more effort put into the advertising and um, more effort into the advertising and branding. And I'll create more socials content around that. And stuff like that. What's the green stuff on the orange? Looks like grenade or something. No, I doubt it. No, he's in a cast, so he's injured. So the lore is that he is injured, but we don't know if he's actually injured. He may just be a, um, faking it. But because I'm his boss, I can't say anything. But there's rumors going around the office that the cat has been seen faking the injury to get extra, like, injured pay. But, I don't know. You see, like, I had all these ideas in my mind. I was saying, this would be, like, the office. Like, my guys would be in, like, the office type setting. And then I have, like, a whole comedy and stuff around it. But, like, I obviously, I don't know how to do any of that. And it take forever. <laughs> but once again, that, it's, it'll slowly come together. I have their names. I think I know what I'm going to call them. I just don't know when I'm going to solidify that yet. It's a cast. Oh, yeah, yeah, it, it is a cast. But, um, once again, 
there's a lot of potential because i am i do like i'm a big um supporter of animation i've always been a really big fan of cartoons anime everything i just i'm not really big of a drawer myself or animator i can't really do that stuff aka i'm lazy because honestly like animating and being an artist takes skill but i do believe if you practice enough you can um you can draw well and stuff it just takes time i'm just lazy at the end of the day so um that's why i've been procrastinating with making all the lore and everything because if i if i could i would just make like honestly dude i'd, I'd be down to make a show for these guys because like making an animated show was also one of my big focuses that i wanted to do so i started writing because i couldn't draw i started writing more so i have like some ideas for cartoon shows that i would make but um, once again, that takes money, time, effort, everything, skill. AK, I'm lazy. <laughs> but if I, if this channel grows, maybe in like, I don't know, 10 years, if we can get funds, maybe we'll turn it into a show. Who knows? That'd be cool. But first, we have so many other things to focus on. Oh, hi. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. It's been a while. We're just chilling out, playing some burrito bison. Talking about what's going to be going on this weekend. We got our Cuphead thing going on. Very exciting news. And just talking about the expansion of Fruitler. Oh, welcome, welcome. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I could see my guys being in some type of animated show. But once again, this is all like... We first need to get Fruitler taking off. Like, I need to focus on so many other things. Rather than all that other stuff. But it's good to have like future goals in mind. But um, it's exciting, you know. Like I think I've revived my interest in this channel for sure. And I do think this is the best channel I've had. That I've liked the most. This actually, this channel is not the channel I've gotten the most subscribers on, I don't think. But this is the channel I built the most community from, I'd say. And I'd say this has definitely been my most impactful and branding wise everything. This has the most identity for it. And I just like it the most. Because Fruitler like is the name I use for mainly everything. So the moment I made this channel Fruitler. It was pretty locked in. That I was like okay this is the channel. Oh my two traps back to back. That is unfortunate. Very sad. This weekend I gotta see my dad. No worries for sure. If you can't make the stream that's fine. Cuphead will be um oh we missed we missed we missed it's gonna be a while so if you can't make the streams it's fine describe the office type setting is it just like the typical office setting something similar to in the office or the it would be like the office sitcom for my take on it if that makes sense but like that would be one of the ideas i can see my guys like putting them into a bunch of different settings I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, I could see them like in that type of setting. Cause that could be something for like overlays and stuff too. It's a good thing you have such a you have such a community because even though you did give even though Sarah did give you that shout out which helped, you're building your community it means you have more true fans. Exactly. And I do appreciate the support always. Thank you so much. That's what I was thinking, yeah. So yeah, definitely I've learned a lot from um, all my YouTube channels and everything. And like getting views and having a community um, can be different sometimes. Because having a community is, means like the people actually know the people. We're here to chill and everyone kind of knows each other and we're all having a good time. Rather than just be in a place where you just make videos and... You just go to the channel just to watch the videos and you know nothing out about the person or who the channel's about. But with the true community, um, you know, it's more solid. Sorry for the typos. I'm very typo pro. No, it's all good. Same here. I'm, I'm have typos all the time. That's why I use like Grammarly and spell check all the time for everything. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think, um, Community is more important than like getting viral videos for sure. 
But hey, having both would be nice. <laughs> but that'll take time. That'll take time. Because, yeah, like, my thing is, like, I would rather have people that enjoy being here for the channel. Rather than just, like, I don't know, people showing up, like, once. And that's kind of it. But, yeah, we'll see. I don't know. I don't know. But I, th I think I am very grateful for this, um, how things are turning out for this channel. Now, once again, it, ha it, it ha for sure hasn't been easy. Like, as you can tell, that's why I, like, left YouTube for a while. <laughs> it is not easy, to say the least. But I think it's helped me grow a lot, definitely. And I've learned a lot. Especially with coming back right now. I think my whole attitude and outlook on everything, like, has helped me tremendously, I believe. There were, now, like, I would consider, like, everything to be a success overall. Also, having videos that are tailored to all audiences, more uh, growth audiences help because then as they grow, then they stay versus kids center channel. Exactly. So, like, I mean, I'm making the channel too, so it's something I enjoy as well, right? Because I can see some, like, this type of channel being a channel that, like, anyone enjoys. Like, it doesn't matter your age. You can be a kid or an adult or something. Like, I have a wide variety of content. I have my indie games. I have my live streams. I have, you know, my podcast, everything. I have different areas where, you know, you may not like one area, but you may not like another, you know? And I like doing all that variety. I like having all those options available. I think it's very interesting. And for sure, it's it it's not, um, it makes things less boring at times. <laughs> like, at the very least, it's interesting for me. And I'm hoping it'll translate to other people enjoying it as well. But once again, like, I still have a long way to go. I need to grow the content way more. Like, there's still a bunch of areas for improvement, for sure. But I think planning for later. I think, like, the early game for the channel is going to be difficult. But, like, I'm planning for the future. Because now I care more just about longevity and just being able to last and build something meaningful and impactful and fun. Rather than just trying to get views and money. So now it's more enjoyable for sure. I gotta go. Gotta get some sleep for school. And put my baby cousin to bed. Bye. Thanks for joining. No problem. See you later. Thank you for joining. But yeah. Once again, it's like... I always just say it takes time. Because <laughs> it does. It takes time. But um, I, I'm definitely grateful to have the community I have. For sure. Because I, I think the... So you notice all the ways, you notice all the ways it could be better. My philosophy, I don't know if it's the correct term, is that if you don't enjoy a video from a viewer standpoint, then why should other people? Of course, from a creator standpoint, it is different because you notice all the ways it could be better. Yeah, exactly. You know, if you're not enjoying it yourself, like, how can you expect other people to enjoy it, you know? <clears throat> That's why, um... I say if you're trying to start or something or build, just focus on enjoying more. Don't focus on all the trends and everything. Focus on just having a good time. Because at the end of the day, you're building this for yourself. You know? Or that's how it should be. Like, don't focus on all the views and all the pictures. Because you're going to get burnt out and you're going to quit. And that's what happened to me. <laughs> I got burnt out and I quit. I was like, yo, I don't like this at all anymore. This kind of sucks, dude. <laughs> but now that I'm back and I'm just like, you know what? I'm just going to do whatever I want. Just try and have a good time. I had to split that message. It was too long. Yeah, no worries. But, um, focus on that more too. Especially, I'll, t I'll tell you this. Like, at the beginning, it's very vital to do what you want to do. Because, um, there's a high chance you're not going to get viewers, right? Because I've been checking Twitch and stuff and some YouTubes. A lot of the live streams have 0 to 1 viewers. And the one viewer could just be someone they know, right? So like their mother or family member or friend, right? Or their phone, right? So you're not going to have many viewers. So it's going to be easy to burn out. Because when 
Because I still... Whoa, what is that? Dr. Wormageddon. Touch, hold, eat them all. Whoa. Okay, we got Wormageddon. But um, what was I saying? I totally lost track there. Whoa, whoa, we got another one. What's happening? Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is going crazy. I say focus... Oh, yeah. Focus on enjoying more because... You're going to have to at least entertain yourself because those 0 to 1 viewer streams are going to be tough. They're going to be tough. I'm not going to lie. Like, when I, I still get some 0 to some uh, streams that no one shows up. But I'm pretty fortunate at least one person tends to show up per stream. But those ones are pretty brutal. So, like, you, you're tempted just to end stream because you're like, oh, gosh. Like, I'm streaming to nobody. It's so boring. And, like, oh. And especially, like... When I do my challenges and if no one shows up, it's like, yo, this is kind of awkward. <laughs> but that's why you want to focus at least enjoying. So like, even if no one's watching, whoa, why are we lagging? Uh, you're still having a good time, you know? But it all depends. Just do what you want to do. Wait a see. Honestly, I kind of have stayed away from Twitch due to what's going on. Yeah, there's a, I heard there's a lot of things going on for Twitch. Because I asked my viewers, I'm like, oh, should I move to Twitch and everything? And everyone always, always the answer is just stay on YouTube. And I think it's better because it's just everything in one place, so I'll stick with YouTube for now. I try and catch every stream for that reason. Yeah, I appreciate it. And once again, if you can't make it, no worries. Like, it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Nothing to feel bad about. But, um, I also like it too because I'm always streaming different, different times when I can. And also because my streams and everything such a variety, I always tend to get a different audience, I feel, sometimes. Which I like. I like that a lot. Like, all the new people. It's like I'm streaming on five different channels, but it's all the same channel. Because <laughs> we get different games, different viewers. And it's very, very interesting. But I enjoy that a lot. That's what I enjoy more. I like the interactions more and just chilling out. Rather than playing so much, I like the interactions and what's going on more. I find that to be more interesting. But yeah. Once again. It's um. It's a grind for sure. But um. Oh yeah I did say I want to write my goals for the channel. I have, to, I have to write that down later in the community. I still don't know what I want my goals to be. I think writing it down now. And saying what I want to see for the end of the year. Would be um interesting. Solid choice. Yeah I've been super busy lately. So I haven't been able to make it. I, I also need to work on my channel. I'm currently procrastinating on editing. Yeah, no problem. I appreciate you stopping by for sure. But yeah. Procrastination, I know what you mean. I procrastinate like crazy too. But right now, I think I'm setting up... I'm trying so like... So to make sure I don't procrastinate, I'm trying to set up a system. I think making a routine is... Um, a solid idea. So what I do is... I try and get all my... So I try to have my at least my daily content for my indie games now. So I try to get that all loaded up early and I and I, I kind of try to keep stockpiling that to make sure I at least have a content for the day, right? And then whatever time I have left, I will focus on investing into the live stream or whatever else. So like having a rhythm or system is beneficial to keep you on track. Um once again, everything's always subject to change, you know? You don't want to... If you feel burnt out or something, feel free to take a break. There's no pressure or anything, you know? T is definitely better than quantity, I'd say. But I'm more of a quantity guy, as you can tell. Because <laughs> my quality isn't that good. But, um... That's what I would recommend. Just, uh... Try and get into a rhythm of things. And then it'll keep you going longer. Because so I think YouTube, streaming, everything, it's more of a long haul game. Like, you gotta be in it for a while. Because, like, majority of the people aren't gonna go viral and, like, get, like, insane amount of views instantly. It's gonna take a while. Like, some people don't grow for years. I'm like, that's just kind of how it is. Oh, is everything okay? Is it... Okay, yeah, it's fine. But, um... What was I saying? That's kind of just how it is sometimes. So, I think just focusing on lasting more and increasing your quality... Uh... Should be the goal. 
I don't know. That's just my two cents. I'm just yapping right now. Let's see how far we can go in this. Come on. Come on. Okay. Are we going to hit the wall? Nice. Okay. That's decent. Decent. For me, it's a constant loop. I get stressed that I procrastinate and play video games to wind down, which causes the due date to be closer, which causes more stress. And then loops loop until it needs to be done. Exactly. I totally understand that. I know where you're coming from. Once again, that's why why I left the YouTube. It was just getting too much. But I think my new mindset's better. Once again, like focusing on just focusing on enjoying more and you know being more creative, honing your craft will um increase your retention first thing and will get you more excited excuse me because i view like now i view youtube as this i'm like youtube is is optional like streaming it's great to have it as a full-time job i know a lot of people want a full-time job to make a lot of money but youtube is not mandatory if you think about it right so you're saying like you're doing this on the side or whatever or if you want to grow whatever it's gonna take time and you should start it because you like it because once again this is no one's forcing us to make content or anything we can pursue different areas we don't have to make any content so i'm saying why are we making content and if the question is you want to make content because you like making content then you need to maintain whatever you can to continue enjoying making content because the moment you're just making content just to try and get views and stuff you will burn out and that's what happens to me i burnt out immediately when i start switching to be like okay let's just do minecraft roblox and like balloons and just do that and just try and get an insane amount of views i started hating everything and i burnt out heavily and it was terrible like i did not enjoy anything i'm like wait a minute like i made this channel because it was supposed to be like creative outlet and trying new things right like no one's forcing me to do this why am i doing this to myself why am i not like at least enjoying it you know so then i, I was questioning everything i was like okay let's just step away for now so i think you know this has gotten out of hand and um which led to all the stuff but that's why i came back i came back because i was like you know what? i just want to have this as an outlet you know obviously i'd like to grow it obviously i want to make this a brand whatever right but like i want this have to have a place to be a creative outlet for me just to try whatever i want to try build a community enjoy with some people the games and whatever and just treat it like that and have some more fun and the now that i'm doing that it's definitely become uh work but like my outlook and everything has been way better on this channel so being able to maintain it has been a lot easier now it's still difficult but it's a lot easier but so also sometimes procrastinating can be used for content accidentally example i'm playing through ghost runner games so now i can make a theory video on it exactly you know you know there can always be opportunities that arise hi welcome to stream thanks for joining i want to make content because youtubers have made my days and helped me through tough spots and i want to do that further exactly you know we all have different goals and whatever those goals may be just don't lose sight of it for sure i couldn't watch youtube because i was on vacation but i'm back now nice i hope you enjoyed vacation but welcome back yes i finally beat the boss very nice awesome but yeah once again it's like remember why you gotta remember why you're doing it like don't lose sight of that because if you do, like, it's going to eat at you. Because then you'll be, like, having a bad run. Let's say, like, you're having a bad run. And let's say, for some reason, your recent videos aren't getting many views. And not many people are showing up. On top of you not liking what you're making. You're going to burn out. Heavy. Because you're going to be, like, spending all this time. So just focus on enjoying more and creating content you want to see. But yeah. That's that'd be my two cents. Didn't the post say battle cats? It did say battle. You, you saw it before I deleted it. A couple people saw it actually. I didn't think anyone really saw it much. 
it did say battle cats but then i got tired and i was like i don't want to play battle cats today so i just switched i switched today so sorry <laughs> we can do battle cats another day we'll see but that's the great thing about this channel is that you don't know what to expect but is that a good thing or a bad thing i can't tell i can't tell but for those just joining um yeah i so saw i know you commented I thought you just weren't going to stream. Nah, I'm, I'm, I usually stream on Wednesdays. It's just that I was... I just want to play Burrito Bison because it was more chill. <laughs> Once again, I like Battle Cats, but for some reason, Battle Cats is like so much work. It's so much work for some reason. And like, it gets so difficult. But if you're just joining, once again, we're playing Cuphead this week. Get ready for all the announcements starting for that. And I hope to see you all there. But yeah, I hope that advice helps to whoever's listening or whatever. Once again, I'm still learning myself too. I'm still learning as well. You love destroying gummies, honestly. <laughs> Through that. Okay, we almost made it there. Nice. Uh, let's see if we can get any more upgrades. But I, I've been vibing with this game, honestly. Loki, I'm kind of addicted to Burrito Bison. I'm not gonna lie. I I said before I played this game a lot in the past. But I thoroughly enjoy this game. Oh yeah, Cuphead gotta continue that series while also doing Undertale, some of the hardest games at the same time. Dang, that's sounds crazy. Yeah, these games are quite difficult. So we'll see how it goes. Once again, I'm excited but kinda nervous. I'm just hoping that I can beat it. I'm hoping I can. Oh, it's a food game. Yeah, this game is Burrito Bison. So the theme is food, in a sense. Kind of. That's kind of the theme, I guess. The theme is about... See, like, the walls and stuff? It's like cake. You eat the cake. But this was... I used to play this, like, a lot. I think I... I didn't beat it, but I got to the final boss. But there's more stuff to it, I think. I actually forget. Like, I don't know what they changed and stuff, but this game's pretty wild. But we're gonna keep chipping away at this one. For sure. Like burrito gummies and pineapples. Uh kind of. You got the you got the idea there. Sort of. <laughs> Here we go. We got the key. Nice. Oh, we got the worm. Got interrupted. Alrighty then, the worm is there. There we go. What other news do I have? I think that's it. Pretty much tomorrow's podcast. Friday, we'll see. I'm going to change the games on the uh, Fruit of the Gauntlet because we beat it last time. I just don't know what to add. Kind of like Jetpack Joyride. Kind of. Slightly different in its mechanics i think this game is i like this game more than jetpack joyride i used to play jetpack joyride at the beginning but um kind of similar concept i guess i can't make it to the end unfortunate cross a distance 3000 without getting hurt avoid 20 squishy cops got it okay honestly i can't wear this i can't wait for spring break I want to have homework so I can finish my projects and more time to watch further. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> that, uh, it's coming around the corner, so just hang in there. You got this. I believe you got to work hard or play hard. You know what I mean? Work hard to play hard. <laughs> got to get all that homework done. Man, the homework times. Those are interesting times for sure. But you'll make it through. Right now I'm currently playing, uh, working on 100% Ghost Rider on my second monitor for the theory video. And just remember the map that quit and how recently I saw a video saying the community is now map pat. Yeah, exactly. Like he had a whole, I saw his, um, his last video recently. And once again, we discussed map pat, I think on an earlier, um, stream. But once again, he had a great, um, He's a great legacy on YouTube. Obviously, super um, 
popular and he was saying yeah i think he said like oh the community is like game theory and everything but he fosters a really big community and everything but um excuse me i think it was just his time to step down and his team looks solid like once again they started posting already like they did not wait for him at all they just jumped right into it and the video already seemed really good his team seems very solid so there's a lot of good news about that. I think MatPat's working on different projects too right now. So we'll have to see what happens with that. But see, that's what I'm talking about. Like, community building? Like, he built a community and stuff. That's different than, let's say, another channel that's just making viral clips, right? Like, they... The viral clip channel is not going to really be remembered. Like, sure, they have views, but... They won't have that much of an impact compared to like being a creator like MatPat or Markiplier or PewDiePie or those guys. Like they have like a whole community branding and stuff. But yeah, I think he left it off at the correct point. Everyone's sad and in terms of internet is dead. Obviously not dead, but I think everyone knows he left at a good point. Yeah, no, no. He definitely... Oh, 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 oh hold on, hold on. We got to the next point. Nice, we got to the next point. Let's go. What is this? Alrighty then. But I think he left at a good point. Like, I think he was just ready regardless of what's happening. He was just ready to step down. So I think that's good for him. But I don't, I don't think internet's dying. Oh, wow, we missed. It's not dying. It's just that things are changing. But once again, I think this is a great opportunity because I think we're in a, a big area of um, change. So, like, I think starting content creation and everything, maybe there's a new wave of new creators and everything. Um, there's spots available. There's more spots available, but... So... It's looking good for new people, I guess. I don't know, though. But I don't know if people retiring or anything changes the fact of increasing your odds of growing a community, but... I think... Well, after you eat dinner, I'll be back soon. No worries. Enjoy dinner. Enjoy dinner. Once again, I, I think it's a good time to start as well. Because I think there's a lot of exciting changes happening. Especially with AI. I think AI has a lot of possibilities. It has a lot of bad possibilities, but I think for gaming, it can be some good implications. In a sense of growing games, but I don't know. We'll have to see how that goes too. We'll have to see how that goes. But who knows what the future holds. You just got to invest in the present. Which I am doing right now. <laughs> but yeah. Just got to see. Just got to see what happens over time. But it's not to be too stressed over all that stuff. Just keep on working. Keep on grinding. Don't worry too much about the other factors. Here we go. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited. We got to the Cookinator. Is that his name? Cookinator? I, I remember that guy. I think he's the boss. If I'm not mistaken. Got the worm. I've been coding a project for like four months and all I've done a few hundred lines of code. Nice though. You know, I try to learn coding too. It's, it's quite difficult. But coding is definitely a good skill to learn. A lot of advancements happening in coding too. So be on the lookout for that. But keep on going with that project. I meant more of a sense that in the internet year, years he's dead. You know how his chan like his channel was only like a decade old. Yeah, in terms of internet, he's ancient. Oh, so you mean for his specific channel? You think his time was coming? As in like, oh, it's been a really long time for him. It's good that he stepped down. I don't know. His channel's like a timeless channel. Like, I don't think it was that outdated. Not outdated. I think he kept up with current trends enough. And it's formatted well so it can sustain for a while. But I know what you mean. I think, yeah, like, he was doing it for a really long time too. So I think passing it off to new people. Once again, we'll, uh... We'll see how that goes. Because he, he grew his whole thing into a whole business and company. It's not just a channel anymore. It's like a entire business is crazy so he has a team and everything 
But yeah, coding's cool too, though. That's why I've been playing a lot of the indie games to see all the different styles, how people make their games and stuff. And it's been wild. Some of the games have been super crazy. I'm like, how are these not, games not famous in a sense? Not in his time was coming, but I've heard a lot of people say Rip Map has thrown his eyes on the internet. He's dead. I don't know how to explain it any better. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> interesting concept. I don't know. His his fan base can also be interesting at some times. <laughs> but, um... No, I think, I think it was just his time. He just wants to spend more time with his kid and um, work on separate projects. And he was able to do it. He was very... Obviously, he's very successful, so he had that luxury. So I think that's good for him. But once again, I think he's just retiring from the channel, but he's not like... He's not going to not be doing anything. He's still going to be making... He's going to be making projects, I believe. I don't know what he's making, but he's making some projects. What they are, I don't know. But, um... I assume... MatPat does not seem like the guy that's just going to be like... Oh, let's retire and do nothing. He seems like the guy that... If he takes a vacation, he, ha he has to be, like, doing something. I don't know. He just gives me that vibe. Which is good, but you don't want to be too much of a workaholic. So maybe that's why he retired. Because he's like, I got to spend some time with my kid. But, um, once again, good for him. Whatever he does, I, I, I think he'll be, he'll be good at it. But anyways, what am I saying? Here we go. We got the worm. Let's get the cookinator, please. Oh, no. Unlucky. Yeah, he's with Scott Cotton now and spending time with his family. I saw it with Scott Cotton because 1 6 was got it. Yeah, I saw the ending too. I don't know if he's going to be doing some FNAF stuff or something. He's going to be doing something though. I know for sure. But we'll see. We'll see. But as he's doing that, I will be playing some Burrito Bison. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just like this game a lot. I like this game a lot for some reason. Like, I'm getting way back into this. I gotta see the end of this game. I'm. I think there's an. I don't know if there's an end. Actually, I feel like there is. I forget. Who knows? But um, what other news is there? I don't know. Game engines confuse me. I know I just make small projects and plugins. Only game engine I know is Scratch, and I can't make plugins without it because it's way too much work. Yeah, I don't know so much about the game engines. I know it gets confusing. I was looking into coding recently a little, but it was mainly for like mobile things. But like maybe look into Unity. I don't I don't know. Once again, there's gonna be a lot of changes. Oh no, we missed the diamond. There's gonna be a lot of changes for coding. Good and bad. I heard there's some AI stuff coming up too, so that may be controversial for coding, so who knows. But, um, some people theory that he knows the lore of Five Nights at Freddy's, but hey, that's just a theory. I'm not that theory. <laughs> yeah, I have no clue either. But, um, yeah, for coding, there's a lot of different things. There's a lot of different, um, just look up some videos. There's a lot of free courses and advice. On how to to make games, I just like uh, looking at all the different experiences from the itch.io on what people are making and stuff because it's really interesting. But honestly, if I could code, I'd make stuff for my mascots. I'd make like you know plugins for my mascots and more interactive things. If I could code, that'd be optimal for the channel. But um. I don't think I'll be able to do that. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'll probably have to commission somebody, but that's a later thing. Nothing to be concerned about right now. But yeah, there's a lot of interesting implications for sure. Who knows? The future is looking very, very interesting for sure. Okay, let's use the worm. Got the gem, nice. It's popping off right now. Yeah, I had some money. I should have invested it. Oh, the worm's actually super good. It gets you super far. 
Get you good distance too. Here we go. Come on. Nice. What else is there to say? Yeah, I, I don't know right now. Once again, if I see any good games to come out, I will see. But there's still a lot of different games I have to play. But, um, yeah, definitely look online for coding stuff. And I have a friend who taught self coding, and he told me in the to, to look at a site called W3 if I ever want to learn. Got it. Yeah, there's some advice for you right there. I, yeah, once again, there's a lot of different sites and things for coding. I wouldn't know. If I would, I, w I would share, but um, unfortunately, I don't know. <laughs> but um, it's 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 definitely a good uh thing to learn. Good good thing to learn. So I think, yeah, I feel like you need to be creative to code. I think coding is way more creative than people think it is. No, we missed the diamonds. You have to, it's a lot of creativity. Because you think, oh, just like, you know, just plug this in and do whatever. It's like, it is at times, but it takes a lot of creativity. There's an art to it, I'm not going to lie. There is definitely an art to it. But yeah. Good luck on that journey. We got the worm, nice. We got the worm. Let's get the diamond, please. Oh, yes, we got it. Solid. Going to the sky. There we go. Our momentum's crazy. Where's my mouse? I can't see my mouse. Get all the rockets because they instantly replenish. Shoot it. Shoot it. Nice. And they're here places that use program look more at portfolios now. Yeah, definitely. You want to build up your project status and everything. Because I think people care more about experience. Like... Your experience and what you can make rather than like oh then you're i don't know oopsie i clicked that too many times i don't know but just um just go at it just take your time don't feel like you're in a rush or anything you know as well it takes time oh no we missed one two this is a crazy run. Hold on one second. I'll read chat in a little. Oh, nice. It's not really the coding part. I taught myself coding. Just have no idea how to um, how to get game engines working. Plus, there's so much work to do. Making sprites, make code, test bugs, play tester, find bugs. Sorry, not test bugs. Find bugs, man. <laughs> no, I know what you mean. If it was so simple, you know, everyone would do it. But, um. There's a lot to it, but it's worth an investment for sure. Oh, crit. Nice. You can always keep some smaller bugs in an Easter egg or something like that. <laughs> yeah, like the real, like the actual games, they leave the bugs in. That's an Easter egg, but um, I don't know if those are the bugs you're referring to. You're like, you got to make the game clean in a sense as well. But uh, don't rush yourself. It will take time. You know, coding is definitely an endurance game. Excuse me. Coding is definitely an endurance game. Like, you have to be resilient because you're going to fail a lot. And there's going to be a lot of mistakes, <laughs> which can get frustrating for sure. So, you just got to, you know, when that happens, just be sure to breathe and um, take a break if you need to. But just keep going at it because honestly that's how coding is just keep on going until you get it right that's kind of how life is honestly take the easy way out and call it a feature <laughs> yeah lava make sure it's not ea level feature <laughs> yeah or just keep chipping away <laughs> you lasted longer than me i'll tell you that i i did not last long i just saw the coding and i was like yeah. I give up. <laughs> As I just told everyone else, you know, hey, keep going, do this, do that. I'm like, yeah, myself, I gave up. <laughs> so it's a little hypocritical, but you got this. I I believe. I believe. 
Here we go. I just need to get past this wall. Let me get the boss. Oh, I, I was not paying attention. My bad. Okay. Hit this one. Hit that one. Nice. There we go. Oh. What else is there? What else is there? Yeah, nothing much. Once again, I just need to focus on getting this weekend ready. The rest of the week ready as well. Do as I say, not as I do. True. I just got to focus on the weekend. Hopefully that goes smoothly. And, um... Yeah, nothing much, you know. If anyone has any questions, you can feel free to ask. I want to get Cake Eater. Let's upgrade Cake Eater. Here's your time since there's not many people. You can ask any questions you want to ask that you're... Any dying questions you have to ask or food there that you want to know. Because tomorrow will just be the podcast, so it'll just be me yapping. Forgot what I have as the topic. What's the topic for tomorrow's podcast? Um, it's a good one. I forget. Is it? Um, oh, oh, it's a good one. Uh, I think tomorrow's does working hard matter. I think that's the topic. Might start with the Roblox game engine. It's decently powerful. And it's, it isn't the hardest. Lou is pretty easy language. Yeah, honestly, do whatever you want, whatever suits you. Roblox is definitely an interesting um, area, I'll say. That's what I'll keep it at. <laughs> I know a lot of people code for that. But, um, it's definitely, the games they produce, they're quite interesting. Low-key, a lot of brain rot going on, but, um, <laughs> but uh, that's a good place to start. For sure to start get your uh basic knowledge from but yeah there, there are definitely a lot of games there <laughs> here we go come on let's get this going get this going nice here we go hmm what else i'm gonna try and beat the boss today for this game i feel like it can get the boss Oh, we're so close. We're e we're getting through more. Yeah, I'm gonna head out now. See ya. No problem. Thanks for joining. See ya. Gotta get the video out soon. See ya. Thanks for joining. See ya. Good luck on the video. We're gonna try and get the boss today. Oh, it switched. No, I missed. I knew he was gonna teleport. I should have waited there. I should have waited. But yeah, that'd be cool if I could code my own guys. Like, because I definitely want to make, I, I keep mentioning overlays and like, because definitely when I start to get members unlocked for the channel, I need to get emotes for members and different types of, you know, inter like, let's say someone subscriber donates to my channel. Like, I would like to have my guys like dancing on the screen. I think that'd be cool or some, some concept like that. It's just that those concepts are good in theory, but, you know, I'll have to make it my own or I'll have to pay somebody. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see at the end of the day what goes down. But, um, that's why I have to draw more. I, I definitely have to draw more. <laughs> it takes time, though. What I miss? You didn't miss anything. We were able to fight the boss once, but um, nothing much. You didn't miss much. <laughs> it's just the same old chill, nothing going on vibe. Oh, we almost got the sky. We ate we ate most of the cake though for most of the walls, and except for the last one. So yeah, I think cake eater is is the way to go for sure. Cake eater for sure is the way to go. Here we go. Come on, one more. Get the chest. Nice. There we go. Oh, there's also that new game coming out that it looks like um, um, Mickey Mouse. It's a Mickey Mouse shooter, but it's not Mickey Mouse. It looks like Steamboat Willie. That game's coming out. That looks like it has potential, but I don't know. 
also looks kind of sus. It looks a little sus in a sense that I don't know if it's going to be good. Whoa. Whoa, nice. There we go. I don't think that would involve much coding. More just animation could use... Could use your donating software to make it run the animation. Yeah, I, I can run it like no problem. Stream elements will let me run it. It's just the problem is making the animation. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I think you're right. It's not going to take much. It would just take me some time. Like you'll have to animate the frames, right? And then you have to... um, You have to animate the frames and then make the animation. But I'm just like... Do I want to do that right now? It is worth the time. But I'm so lazy. Once again, after everything, it's like, you're like, further, just do it, man. I'm like, dude, I'm so lazy, man. <laughs> he made it past the wall. Yeah, we made it past. That was kind of crazy. We're almost, we actually do a lot of damage to that boss guy. I think, you know, I think we can get that. No, get the diamond. Nice, we got the diamond. I think we can get the uh, whatever that is today. Beat that guy. I'm gonna try to beat him today. But um ideas like that I think would make things more interesting for sure. I I need to make interesting concepts too, especially when there's new people here, like to have I should do like streamathons. Is that what it's called? Subathons, subathons. I don't know what it's called on YouTube though. On Twitch it's subathons because you have a bunch of subs, but I think um on YouTube it's a uh, member thon because they're not subs here they're members i need to do things like that i could have like a i would like to get i mentioned this last oh i missed the worm i would like to get a thing where like oh let's say to to maybe to have people donate or something be like oh every time someone donates um you know one of my mascots will i don't know Whoa, how do- what, what just happened there? Or like, have it so- I mentioned this last time, like, having them go to a bucket of water or something. And they'd be like, oh, save the guy. Or donate, or sub, or become a member, I don't know. Something like that. To make it more interactive. Then have different things. To make things more interactive, I guess. I don't know. Just a- just an idea. Just an idea, but these are all good theories and ideas, but, um, it will need an execution, Ex execution. I can't see my mouse. Where did my mouse go? Execution. Yeah, I think that's the word. I'm pronouncing it correctly, right? I don't even know. <laughs> but we need to execute it well. So we have more incentives for the channel and everything. So these are all things. What else is there? What else should be added to the channel? That'll make things more enticing and interesting. Hmm. Like having them... Maybe having the mascots like walk across the, you know, stream and stuff would be cool. And like... Emotes. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? Just let just let me get that uh, bison, whatever his name is, the cookinator. Let me just. I think I need to hit him like three more times. In order to break that pan, we need to hit him at least like three more times. I think. Okay, there we go. Explosion. Got the explosion there. One. Okay, we're just going into this. What was this guy's quest? He has a quest right now. I'm I keep doing it incorrectly. I think it's to avoid the the jailer guys. So I keep messing it up. I'm actually kind of trolling. Nice, that was a good bounce. There we go. Yeah, garnering some momentum. Ah. Right as I should have used the slam, I don't use the slam. Give me a power up, please. Give me a power up. Give me a power up. Give me a power up. No. Yes. No. Yes. There we go. Clutched it. I think it's to avoid them. Yeah, it is to avoid them. Oh, okay, okay, it is to avoid them. Another one, nice. Avoid it. Avoid it. Get it, get it. No! No! To lack of momentum. 
There's a heavy lack of movement. Ah. We didn't even get to the wall. Are you kidding me? That's crazy. Oh, did we get cake eater? Nice. We got cake eater. There we go. I think the top upgrades are important too. There we go. That was a good hit. Hmm. Brainstorming for the brainstorming. I need to make more ideas for the podcast. I do like that idea of making maybe like some motivational content for my socials or something. That could be beneficial. Uh, what else is there? I don't know because not many people are here right now. I can I can say my ideas. We can blot, jot, uh, jot down ideas right now because we don't have to solidify any of these. But we can just talk about them. I was thinking of making, I would like to also make a fitness, Fruitler fitness channel. That is something on the books. I don't know if I will do that. Because I was wanting to make like a fitness app. Because that's why I was looking into coding for mobile. Would be to make a fitness app. Like a running companion or something. But using my guys. Or like making a Fruitler fit channel. I, I don't know how I would um portray that. Like this is just hypothesizing too. It's just ideas. But that is an idea. I, I didn't share that with anybody yet. So if you're listening right now, you get a little inside scoop of what I think possible, possibly can happen in the future. Because I am working out again. I'm trying to get back in shape. But like, I don't know how, I because I, I I don't want to make another channel, a Fruitler fitness channel on top of Fruitler. Because I don't know if we'll get too much. And like how I'd phrase it, like, I can imagine my guys just maybe i have like a fitbit or whatever or like we do a running app and then i have my guy running too but i don't know how that would track nor look you know what i mean One, there we go. like that will take even more time and effort on top of this channel so i don't know maybe maybe in future wise oh we're getting close Maybe in Futurize, that can be an idea. But um, if you're listening, you get a potential inside scoop on what the future can hold. How much is this? 11, 12. These are expensive. I need these ones for sure, though. I think that'd be definitely an interesting idea. Because we're already doing the podcast for motivational stuff, too. And having a fitness channel would like keep me responsible as well. But once again, I don't know how that would be maintained, nor... I think I want to get this channel more on track before I expand anything more. Because I, I think the goal would be to... Yeah. Focus on Fruitler's growth first. And first get a complete system going. I like the system I have right now, but get like an entire system going first. And then looking to branch out. Like, we don't want to get too ahead of ourselves, because I think that's what I did last time as well. I try to do too much at once. But I do like to brainstorm and think of hypotheticals on what the future can hold. So who knows? Maybe that will be in store for the future. Possibly. But um, we need to first to focus on not losing my mind. <laughs> and getting this channel through a year. Through to the next year. That is my goal. If we can do that, honestly, just that goal of getting to the next year. Or getting through this year with this channel would be insane. Like, I don't know if I'll be able to post every day and keep up this amount of live streams and stuff when it reaches the end of the year. Whoa. Oh, nice. Okay, never mind. But, um, at least, yeah, at least if I even slow down, right? Seeing one content at least a week would be ideal. And just keep things active at least. Should be the bare minimum for the channel. At least for a year, then we can reconsider. And then I'll be like, okay, time to quit again. <laughs> oh, we got some comments. How would the mascots run? I've been trying to think how they would run, but I have gave it since everything would look so awkward. 
Well, yeah, they would definitely look different. So they're, how they're drawn is not ideal for how they are be animated for sure. So it would just be like a... I would imagine... I can imagine blue and them running. Like their arms are moving 90 degrees and their legs are just moving like their stick legs. That's how I would imagine it. If you can envision that, I don't know. I'm imagining the purple guy running at top speed and it's disturbing. <laughs> That's funny. You know, honestly, I would make the I would actually make purple super fast. Purple is one of those guys that is bigger frames, but is actually like super fit. It's all hypertrophy. If you know what hypertrophy is, he's hypertrophy build, so he's like he's super big, but he's like extremely fit and can actually run super fast. That'd be hilarious. I would see that for purple. But I I have like how they would sound if they're ever to speak right. My idea for how they would speak is that they, they don't say words. They're like, um, they're like the beep, 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 beep. They have different tone intonations. How I would envision is they have different like beeping sounds and they just have different frequencies. So like purple would have like a deeper beep, beep, beep sound. And then yellow and brown higher pitched. Um, cat would have like a, I guess, um, medium pitch and same with the blue would have like a medium pitch to go that's how i envisioned like them talking and them doing a show would be like it wouldn't be beeps necessarily because beeps can get annoying but some type of sound and just different um frequencies or different um volumes i'd say that's how they would interact but yeah, for them running, it would just be like their legs. Um, just imagine a stick figure running. It would look like that. It would look a little funny, but I think I think I can definitely get it done. I think once we get it established, you'd be like, oh, "Okay, that makes sense," or you'd be like, "Oh my, that's actually terrifying," because <laughs> we've never seen my characters move because they don't they don't move. Oh man, I wanted that, um, the worm. Pinata. There we go, nice. But that's how I envision it. They move like that and they talk like different, um, frequencies. But they wouldn't actually be saying words. Words. I don't think they're the type of characters to be saying words. I prefer they just have subtitles and they just make noises. But I, I feel like... I feel like they would be a like um what's it called like if they're in a show right like all the other characters would speak but they would not speak they wouldn't talk a lot that's how i would envision they would look like like that would make the most sense to me because i don't know what voices they would have like i think voices would definitely affect how people view them because it changed definitely everything because i could assign a voice to them but then it can be very hit or miss like how that's portrayed can be very hit or miss for sure but um who knows we we don't know we'll see maybe i'll get some voice actors or maybe i'll just do the voices it would just be five of the same voices though and i'll be like yo what's good and that's it. That, that's them talking. It's like, what's good on blue? Or on purple? Nah, that would suck. <laughs> that would suck. That would be terrible. <laughs> no, we hit the... Okay, nice. There we go. We're making progress, though. We're making progress. Oof. Let's keep it going. Can we cash in everything? No, we need a couple more mil. Let's keep it going. Hit a critical. Ah, uh, no crit. It's fine. But once again, I, I'm excited because there's so much potential for the characters. That's why I came back to this channel specifically. It's the best setup. It has the highest potential. It's a combination of all the, um, of everything I enjoy into one. And I think it has the most branding possibilities. It's just how to execute that. That's the... That's the difficult part, you know. That's where the creativity and the money and investments need to come in. 
and for me to decide how I want to proceed. Because that's why the lore and everything's taking more time because I feel self-conscious because I don't want to solidify anything. And then be like, oh, let's change that. Let's fix this or whatever. And then, you know. Um, and then I get self-conscious. Be like, you know, I should change that. Or it should have been this. It should have been that, you know. So there's so many things con to consider. Because I feel like having their names and having their lore is very important. Which makes me also hesitant on how to start it. Because like, I feel like those have to be perfect. Even though they don't really have to be. It's just the beginning, but I would like those to be well thought out for, not like just the, what's it called? Not just something that I make, just like my content, we just load it, make it and stuff. Like for those, I feel more, it's more impactful, so I have to put more attention and effort into it. So that's, that's honestly why I've been procrastinating it, because... That's why I've been procrastinating, because, um, to me, it's a bigger deal than just, oh, Fruitler, let's just do this, you know? We made it through, let's go. Ah, not much damage. We're getting there, we're halfway. We're halfway there. Three, almost three mil that run, that's crazy. This run, I think we should be able to, um, get the upgrade. To go faster. No, we just missed. Unlucky. But yeah. Those are just some of my thoughts overall. Once again, I'm trying to look at other people's channels for inspiration. Like, they got some crazy... Like, some people got full-on mascots. They have the VTubers and stuff. I'm not a big fan of the VTubing models. VTuber models, or whatever you call it. I would like my guys to interact, but I would not, if I was to make a model, I would not be like the model for them. I would just have them as like a separate character that does something on their own. So like my voice and me, I would be food loop, but my characters would be my characters. I would not be like acting as my character, if that makes sense. So like, um, I don't know. So I don't know, like having a VTube model that like interacts on his own, but I guess that's like just a separate animation, no? Just having separate animations. Do I need to get an intro? That's a question too. A lot of people have intros I see. And they have like a, when they start stream, they don't start right away. They have like a timer. I don't know, like I just like start things and don't think about much. I feel like everyone else has like, oh, they have like timers and they have like full on intros. <laughs> but maybe that's later when they get more traction, they're able to pay out for an intro or something. I don't know. What would my intro even be though? That's the question. <laughs> would I make like a theme song or something? It'd be pretty cool. I think that'd be pretty cool. Oh, finally, we beat this. We beat the, uh, we beat the quest. Okay, this is the one. This is the run. Oh, we got crazy momentum. Okay, make it to the top. Oh. Make it to the top? Nice, we broke through. There we go. Decent damage. Sa actually, no, the same damage as before. There we go. Okay, we got some money. Okay, no more quests. Okay, I want to, uh, speedometer pushes next, everything, okay, increase the amount of time you can body slam. You know, I want to increase speedometer, I think speedometer is important. It makes this go faster so we can get more momentum. I think that's definitely important, so we're going to save up for that right now. But yeah. Would anyone here want to see, like, an overlay? Like, a? I saw someone, they had, like... I don't have a face cam, but my face cam would just be my character, right? And then they have the game in a square? Or is it fine having the game as the entire screen? I feel like it's fine to have the game as the entire screen, right? We're not lagging, right? No. Having the game as the entire screen, I think, is fine. 
But um Who knows once again I'm not gonna stop until I get that Until I wanna beat the cook Like we're so close We're so close to beating the cook man We are almost there Here we go Oh chest Nice there we go we're almost there. Come on. You have a face cam in bottom left though. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Like that that is my face cam. But um They have it like like they'll have three squares and then they have like a border around. I don't know how to explain. So they're they're not using the full screen to show the game. They have like a section for chat, they have a section for um face cam, then they have a section for the game. And then they have like a background border. So they have their own borders. But I feel like I like to see all the game on the screen. Like I don't like how it's like half of the game. I don't know if anyone knows what I'm talking about. No, our momentum got cut down immensely. Oh, we needed that. Okay, nice. But um, actually no, I think it's fine how it is for right now. But I think adding halfway timer. Oh no, we missed everything. Adding halfway timers and, and different types of overlays would be good to have. Get the worm. Worm's better. Worm is better for sure. Here we go. There we go. That's some big damage. Oh, what happened? Whoa. What? Okay, pinata. Whoa, 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 what's happening? What's happening? There's a black hole? Wait, did we beat the game? Okay, the black hole, gummy bears. Okay. Candyland. I'm clicking it. Whoa. Okay. What is this? Hold on. Let's see, I'll read chat in a second. What is happening? Oh, it's a different area. We unlocked a different area. Yo, this is sick. What music do you listen to, if anything? I listen to variety, you know. I'm I'm a, I'm mainly the guy that like will listen to anything that's on the radio or whatever sounds good, and if I'm vibing with it, like then I'm vibing with it. So I listen to some rap, some R and B. Um, some hip hop. They're literally like anything. I'm down for anything. Oh yeah. I don't really have like any specific area. I just put on whatever, and then when I work out or anything, I just have that going. So Spotify just put on like, you know, top music. But some of the top music's not been that good. I'm not gonna lie. Some of the top hits, they ain't much of hits to begin with. <laughs> to be completely transparent. We unlocked a new area though. That's good. I'm happy with this. Come on. Keep going. Crazy momentum. We're almost at the wall. Don't break momentum. No, we broke a little bit of momentum. We're breaking more momentum. Okay, that's fine. Okay, whoa, we got new stuff. Oh, a lot of money. Speedometer. It's 50 mil. I need my speedometer higher. I think speedometer is very... Uh, okay, door destroyer next. We'll get door destroyer. So we have this new land unlocked. Okay, we got a trap instantly. Very sad. But yeah, I don't really have any specific preference in uh, music. If I'm down, then I'll listen to literally anything. But I'm more of a vibe guy. <laughs> You're just like, what does that mean, Fruitler? You're like, what does any of that mean? I'm like, honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just talking. <laughs> I'm just saying a bunch of words right now. I'm just happy we got this. So, like, what happens if we go to our old map? 
Is this just the newly unlocked map? I guess there's more to it. Very interesting. I don't know how long this game goes for. <laughs> Whoa, we keep falling into traps, man. That's so sad. How long does this game go for? Yo, yo, this run was bad. Come on, a little bit more momentum. Please. Ah, we got trapped. Ah, unlucky. Ooh, we're still making it. Unlucky. Wow, we make a lot more each run, though. Just... Oh, we missed! Yo, that was a troll right there. That's troll. It doesn't matter if we get the pinata since we don't watch the ads. I'm like, I ain't watching no ads. I'm like, I don't get no ads on my videos. I ain't watching no ads. <laughs> I'm the content creator. Why are they making me watch the ads? Here we go, though. Ah. Got trapped. Yo, what's our momentum so low? One. Two. Three. Nice. There we go. There we go. One. Two. Three. Nice. Momentum's picking up now picking up just no more traps please no more traps yo why is it not giving us more power-ups are you kidding me are you kidding me right now get it get it one more yeah come on i don't want that pinata we get two mil a run that's crazy we hit him nice. Two mil a run is a lot, actually. So it's good that we're in this new land. Yeah, these gummy bears give way more money. Like an insane amount more. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. What are the quests? I should read the quest so I can get some more power-ups. There we go. Come on. One... Two. There we go, nice. Oh, we got the worm. Ah, how is there a trap there? Yo, stop with the traps, please. Ah, it's over. We're not even... Oh. Okay. Clutching it up, clutching it up, clutching it up. Get all that. Nice, two mil. Two mil already. This is way more efficient. Come on. Get the bomb. We didn't get the bomb. We got the trap. Yeah, that's that's over. That's over. But I could think of some... Uh, wall breaker for sure. I could think of some interactive um, streams for the viewers. Because I know a lot of people do like... So occasionally, I just don't know what to do now. Because balloons is hard, because balloons is particularly there's queue lines and stuff. No, there's no like lines I can form, it's just like free for all, so it's hard to organize. Ball guys is okay, but I think it's not the greatest for the channel since like I don't think oh it's like I don't think those people that will be interested in viewers of ball guys will stay for the channel. So it would be something different. Like I could i seen Keso, he does like Jeopardy. I don't know if he does that with his viewers. Like, there's difference. Like, I could do things with the viewers. So it's like... Interactive game where the viewers participate. Or help me, assist me in the game. I think that would be more achievable than doing something where all viewers queue up. Because then you can't like, you can't like moderate things and stuff. It's very difficult. And then sometimes that can get out of hand. And then the experience is ruined. <laughs> if you know what I mean. But um. I could do like a viewer special. I did viewer specials last time. Before. But once again it was just so much work. It was so much work I was like yo I don't really. I don't know if this is worth. We have 7 mil already. How do we have 7 mil? Are we getting like a lot of money? 
How much money does that give? That gives like what, 10 mil. Yo, what the 10 mil? What just happened? Okay, crazy momentum. No. Okay. Nice. There we go. Okay, we got those. Okay, we got a card. Whoa, is this actually no, that's not a lot of money. Okay, we got some money. Miss your point on purpose, but still make it to the gummy bunker. Oh, we have to miss on purpose. 15 mil from one run is insane. That is insane. 15 mil from one run. Miss on purpose. Okay, we missed on purpose. But we have to make it cut to the gummy bunker. I don't think we're making it. Why is our momentum so low? There we go. Okay. I was looking into playing some of the Spongebob game stuff too. I don't know if... I've always enjoyed... I was the guy that played Spongebob on like the... Um... Game Boy. And I played the Bikini Bottom one. The original one on GameCube. That one was... Was it on GameCube? I forget. Oh. One second. That one was one of my favorite. Your Goofy Goober. And you're playing as Patrick, Sandy, or no, you're not playing as Sandy, Patrick, Spongebob. That was the one, that was for the movie was inspired by. Oh no, we're losing. The movie was inspired by that one. Gotta make it to the bunker. But um, there's a couple of new ones that came out. I could speed run that game, but I don't know how popular that would be. And I feel like that, that content has already been done. That content's already been done. But like, I feel like all content's already... Oh, no! In a sense, all content's already been done. So, like... I shouldn't have to worry too much about that, you know? But, um... We'll see. We're not, dude, this guy's so slow for some reason. Why is his momentum so bad? Like, you need to get a little bit more momentum, buddy. Okay, we're getting the gummy bear luck. No, we're not. Where is it said that we stopped getting gummy bear luck? Ah. Oh. Yikes, that was a bad run. I don't, I don't, I don't like, I don't like him. I think his, we got a miss on purpose. And that was a bad miss though. <laughs> we're supposed to miss on purpose, but um, not that badly. No! We missed that one too, come on. But what else is there? Uh, what other games are there that people are interested in that I have not played yet? That even though, like, it's old with- Oh, we got the worm, nice. It's old, but like, we can still get views from and stuff. That would be interesting. That is a question I, I ponder. Like this Hollow Knight too, but once again, Hollow Knight, I liked Hollow Knight way ex it exceeded my expectations. It's just that Hollow Knight was um It got confusing, so like I had a lot of pauses. And I don't know if people like when it comes to live streams, I don't know if people like pauses. Especially if I'm a newer streamer, right? If it's not I feel like if it's not perfect, or if like there's not enough movement or momentum, someone joining the stream will instantly leave. I personally feel right because like they'll join for a couple seconds just to see the vibe of the stream and they'll decide from there if they want to stay or not right and if not much is happening I don't think they'll want to stay so like that's why I prefer to have like a game but also like I don't have to stress out too much about that because like how I play the game is just how I play the game I don't want to get too stressed out and be like, okay, you know what? Just take your time. Even if people aren't staying, like, at least enjoy. Because, like, I'm not perfect. <laughs> and if I feel like I have to be perfect when it comes to playing games, then A, I will not enjoy it. Oh, nice. There we go. A, I'm not going to enjoy it. And B, wait, what? Why didn't it work? Well, that is what it is. But, um, I was saying, and then B is going to be like, I'm not going to have much fun overall. So, like, what's the point of that? 
Because I have to always remind myself I cannot sacrifice my enjoyment for potential views. Because, like, every time I've tried to do something that I think will get views, but, like, I don't really care much about, it ends up not getting many views, and I don't enjoy it. So, like, I could have spent that time at least getting little views, but at least doing something... Oh, we didn't get the sky bonus. But at least doing something I enjoy, you know? I think that's something to carry over in life, especially like when you're working a job or something, right? You saying, would I rather work a job I hate that pays a little or a job that I enjoy that may pay like not as much too, you know? Because like why? Because if it's like the same results, right? If like either I play a, a game I like and it doesn't get many views or I play a game I don't like and it doesn't get many views, why would I make myself suffer? You know for no reason when i can just do what i like and get the same results <laughs> not to me like it's, it's pretty self-inflicting in a sense to oh how do we fall into the trap man so that's why it's like enjoy because like i said like 50 times already <laughs> i'm trying to formulate a thought right now it's getting late, man. I've been streaming for a little bit. How long has this stream been going on for? <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's why choose the thing that you enjoy more with content creation rather than trying to go for trends. Because trends, you're not guaranteed anything at the end of the day. You're not guaranteed, you know, to go viral. Whoa, whoa, clutch it up. That clutched it up so hard for us. Come on. You're not guaranteed to go viral or anything, right? So why, like, embarrass yourself over, like, a trend? And then get zero... That, like, that's embarrassing. You you embarrass yourself for clout. And then it doesn't get views. And also, like, you embarrass yourself. <laughs> but, like, even if you think... Of, oh, we hit it nice. Even if you think about, it, like, people that are, like, trying to get the clout farming that do really embarrassing stuff... Like, it's still really embarrassing. Like, it doesn't change the fact that what you're doing is embarrassing. Two hour ish stream, got it. Okay, so the stream is kind of similar. I think most of my streams are like an hour to two hours. I think that's a good, good length of a, of a stream for me. That's short for regular streamers. Most streamers, like, minimum four, four, six hours, eight, ten. 12 max like that's the grind grind but um i think two hours is what i reach for trying to reach for most of the time pretty much what's it called uh yeah don't know what else to talk about really it's just me honestly most of these days i know days are slower too weekends are a little more um uh, we have a little more viewers since, uh, what's it called? We are, this is the weekend gets more viewers. But, um, it's still fine. I still like the weekdays. I think weekdays are different. Can be different crowds, too. I think it's similar people, but, um, yeah, who knows? I know days as well is difficult because uh time zone and also people have work whether it's school or work and also most people are early earlier um they like to see the streams earlier because of time zones but i do what they can i do what i can i just kind of do whatever fits my schedule and these Streaming nighttime for some of the weekdays fits my schedule, so I, I do that you now. Okay, let's get this nice. My arms. My arms are getting tired. I'll probably go another like 30 ish minutes and then I'll call it. Now, this is kind of a long stream, but I'm glad that we actually hit our goal. We hit our goal of getting to that, whatever it's called. 
Oh, wait, if we get the worm. Ah, uh, no, it didn't give us the worm. Say, if we get the worm, we get to go under. Ah, close. Just an idea. You could do a just act natural multiplayer stream. Is that the one where you uh, shoot the puppets? Do you shoot the puppets for that one? If I'm not mistaken. Just act. Like, I would be down to host like a Mario part or something. Like, I could, like, having my viewers compete could be an idea. It's just like what and how to organize is the issue. Because it, it's good in theory. It just gets very chaotic. And then also, like... Is that your idea, though? You could do it just act natural. So, like, that would be something with the viewers. If I'm not mistaken, right? If you're still there. <laughs> but, um, I think... Just act natural or go crazy. Let me look it up. It's that one that you should just... Isn't it kind of like the... Oh, I know what it is. Yeah, it is the one where you snipe and stuff. Can you play... Like, what would your idea... Elaborate. Make it make it interesting for me. Elaborate. Pitch the idea. You have, you have time. Pitch the idea to me. <laughs> Pitch the idea and I'm willing to listen. But I know that game. I've seen... Um, what's his name? Is his name Nogla? Uh... Vanos, that crew, those guys played. I don't really know much about them. I've only seen like a couple of their videos, but I think those guys have played. I don't know if anyone here knows them, but um, they've played, but they play in a group of four. There's is entertaining though. But like, once again, they're playing with friends, so it's funny. You know what I mean? I don't know how a viewer, a viewer one will look like that. But if you're still there, you can pitch me the idea if you want. <laughs> if not, I can look into it later. But something on the basis of that, sure. On oh, my arm. Like falling asleep. Very go, nice. But yes, I, I have seen that game. Like, I could, like, try and do collabs with other creators, too. Just stream with viewers that might draw on people who, who like interactive content. But that's the thing. I don't... The only fault that I had before is that when I did like co-op loots and stuff, right? Like the people that I got joining were people that just only like co-op. And they would only ask for co-op. And then their retention was very low. So they would not stay for any other content. But like, I guess that's good for marketing, too. Like, that's kind of how it has to go. Like, I have to get attention somehow, you know, right? But, like, I could do that with viewers, or I can try and think of an idea for, like... I could start branching out to other collab or other content creators that are similar vibe to me. And try to do collabs, but I think that would be a later... Like, collabs are difficult, too. Collab to schedule, because you don't really know the people... It can get awkward. Like, it has to gel very well. Like, I feel like there's so many factors. Like, when I was not streaming, I would always think of, you know, it looks so easy and stuff, right? Like, why don't you just plan these things? But then when you start streaming and doing content creation, you're like, oh gosh, there's so many factors to consider. <laughs> but, um, because, like, right now, I don't, I don't see much YouTube too. Again, just do what you want. No, but like, I love the ideas. I know you've been pitching a lot of ideas. I feel bad. I feel like you've been pitching a lot of ideas and I'm just be like, nah. <laughs> so like, once again, um, that is something I can look into. I would have to, once again, I'd have to download and, um, uh, is it free, right? I don't know if it's free. Is it free? I'll have to check. I think it is free. No, it's not. No, it's not free. Ah, uh, we have to consider that then. I'm just throwing stuff out. No, no, no. Yeah, that's great. Just keep throwing stuff out there. I love ideas. Once again. See, for those games, 
those are good games, but I'd prefer it to be free too, because I, I know not everyone has access. But no, uh, that's a great idea. I think the next wave, I think we can plan to, like, let's see another game like that comes out. Let's see a huge party game comes out, right? Just act natural is free. I thought I just checked. Full version. It says full version. Is there like a full version and a oh and a paid version? Let me see. Uh I I can look actually I think it is. I don't know. I think I saw the bumbo open here. Got it. It's like four players. How many players is it? Four? Four players or something? Or does anyone know? How many players can go in a stream? Or how many can queue up? It gives me the same vibe as the party animals. I don't know. Maybe I can do like goals. We can do, I think, six. Okay, that's that's decent amount. Like we could do like six. Um... Oh, what is this honey thing? This is crazy. Yo, this honey thing's crazy. Uh, what's it called? I know it's highly requested, so maybe I could set a goal. Because last time I set a goal too, it was like, oh, if we hit like 500 subscribers, I think. Like, I'll do a co-op. And I, I did do that. So maybe we could do something like Just Act Natural or something. Something to make it different. So I, I know the community likes it. A lot of the co-op games. So we can we can consider. But yes, thank you. Keep pitching ideas. Keep pitching ideas. I'm always all ears. So I can consider that. I need to look at Because I've never played the game too. I've never played it. So I'll have to see how it works. I think it's like one person's the sniper. And other people got to act like natural, right? And just walking. So it can have potential. But we'll have to get viewers that day. And once again, there's just so many factors. It's like the, the day I log in, like no one shows up. I'm like, oh gosh. I always get nervous for those ones too. But no, that's a great idea. I'll keep that in mind. What other games are there though? Like, I think one of the other ideas is like, once again, Queso, he does his Jeopardy thing. Like for Jeopardy, he does, um, I don't know if he does it with viewers or not. I'll have to check out that, but I, I don't think Jeopardy right now would be like a good thing for my channel. I like how things are formatted right now. Oh no, I want the worm. Where's the honey? That honey was super broken. That honey was broken. But yeah, maybe if we hit like a thousand, no, maybe if we get monetized, I'll say like if we get the watch hours, but like. We'll do a co-op. But you guys are like, when are you going to get that then, Fruit there? Because you can't see it? I'll be like, I'll let you know. Uh, we could set a goal. I'll, I'll scour the game to see what game would be the best with viewers. And if the best to monitor. And we'll go from there. But we'll, set a, we'll set a subscribing goal of somewhat... I think maybe if I get monetized, I'll, I'll do a viewer stream. So that's going to be like by the end of the year at best. Because like how it's looking, it's not looking like we're going to get monetized anytime soon. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. But uh, I'll, I'll consider that because you've been you've been pitching a lot of good ideas. So I do want to like I don't want to ignore them. Well, I'm not ignoring them. I'm just seeing what suits best, but, um, definitely, um, we'll consider looking into that for sure. Or maybe, who knows? Who knows? Maybe the, I wish there was like, uh, do, do any of you know, like the game Cult of the Lamb? Like they have a function in their game. Like it's only Twitch function though, which is unfortunate, right? But it's like, oh, the, the viewers can actively participate in your game. Isn't like they can send, they can like vote and do things, which I think is very 
that would be the thing I would be going for. That would be a great interaction with the community. But, um, once again, it's only a Twitch plugin, I think. But that idea would be good. And also, once again, the idea of doing collabs with other creators that are, like, similar to me would be cool. But, like... It all takes work. I, I honestly, it's just it's as simple as just to do things solo. After you do so many things solo, you're like, it feels so much easier. Uh, but yeah, I will. I will definitely look into that. Want to get the diamonds? No, nice. We got the diamonds. Another one. But we are barely making a dent into this wall. Like this place is so much longer. It's so much longer. Let, let me write that down. Let me see. When, if we hit a goal, we'll play viewers a game. If we hit goal, play game with viewers. Okay. Because once again, I, I do want to like... Make sure I do want to um, listen to the community as well. <laughs> Find a balance. But it'd be cool if they released, like, there have been some Mario Party type games, but it'd be cool if they had like a hundred player one or something. That'd be crazy. Like a hundred player Mario Party and then like everyone can queue up. I don't know how that'd work, but that'd be too crazy. Can you imagine that though? Like a hundred player Mario Party game that's released. That'd be wild. I think that'd be really wild. That could definitely have a lot of potential. Like, yeah, definitely. If a game came out like that, we'd definitely play it on here. But I don't know if they'll release one like that <laughs> anytime soon, to be honest. But who knows? Never say never. Here we go. Let's get this catapult. Nice. There we go. Okay. This has been a long grind. Wow. We got a lot of money today. Here we go. Nice. Ah. Almost got that. Almost got that. Come on. Keep it going. Keep it going. Two... Okay, we got double jumps. And then... Nice. Here we go. We got four mil already. This, yeah. Ah, how are there so many traps, though? There's just too many traps right now. Okay. Oh, no. There's too many traps. Okay, well, at least we're eating the... Eating the cake. Seven mil made. Oh, we almost knocked them out. Here we go. Here we go. What else is there? Okay, we got the key. Oh, this was pretty long stream. This was a pretty long stream, but I, I enjoyed um, discussing ideas and just mentioning what, what's going on. That's usually how things go. Two, three... One, two, three, nice. Oh, at the worm. Solid. Let's get this here and nice. Okay. Let's make some more progress on the wall. Got the money bag? How much does the money bag even do? We got crazy momentum right now. Halfway there. We need more items. Okay, there we go. Oh, the worm. If we got the worm, that would have been solidified pretty much. I think we need to increase our luck. We're approaching the wall. We have to maintain momentum. Okay, approaching the wall. Please, please don't break momentum. Please. 
There we go. There we go. That's decent. That's decent. Okay. We'll go a little bit more. This was long. This was a long one. It was good. I'm glad we did it. Oh, Pinata's nice. Uh, can this knock him out? Yo, that knocked him out. Solid. Here we go. Okay. Okay, we're making that. Oh, worm, nice. Worm is clutch. Get the worm, get the worm, get the worm, get the worm, get the worm. Diamond. Odd question, but what made you start your channel? No, that's a great question. I've got that a lot at the beginning. But um, once again, this isn't my first channel. This is my like fourth or fifth channel I made. But um, it's mainly because I didn't know. I still don't know what I want to do in life. I'm still wanting to make my own business or something of my own. And then, you know, I had time and I was like, you know what? Let's just try YouTube. It looks like it'd be a creative outlet, something that we can build. So why not just try it out? So um, this is not my first channel. I've, I've done a lot, a lot of other channels before. Only some people know about them. But um, that's kind of how it all started. And then I kind of just r kept running with it because I just like the idea of building my own and having... My own place to make my own creative ideas and outlet and it was just like it felt like freedom in a sense it was it was kind of like you know something to do something to build because i had all this time on me like i was i finished school and i was like unsure on what to do so i was like instead of just sitting around and like doing nothing um because i was trying a bunch of stuff it was during my phase where i was trying a bunch of different things and like things were not working out at all and so it led to me trying youtube again but once again like youtube's been an endeavor i've tried multiple times throughout multiple years but this is the only time i took it like the most serious and um that's kind of the origin of this channel how it all started me just wanting to do something of my own to build my own product or brand so I, I hope that explains but yeah keep asking questions like that i'm open always to um explaining how i got here whatever you want to know nothing personal about me though i don't share <laughs> but um anything about the channel and how it all started and if like how's the journey been and stuff you know feel free to ask i am always uh willing to answer <laughs> Be willing, uh, you can ask now because especially I don't have many viewers right now, so you get to ask all the questions. So ask now while you have time before we get like flooded and then I can't read the chat anymore because there's too many people. I'm just kidding. That's not going to happen. <laughs> I'm like, we're not going to get to that point. And if we do, it'll be a long time, but yeah, no, that's a great question. I always love um, answering those type of questions. Because it's always like, when I see other YouTubers and stuff, is you always want to ask, like, how did you start this? Like, how did you become successful? What made you want to get into this field or whatever? So, yeah. Sorry, my answer wasn't super, like, extravagant. You're like, yo, what's the backstory? Is this something crazy? <laughs> but it's it's just a pretty, pretty simple backstory. It's like, how, oh, the honey, no. It's like, I just want to try something. Yay! And, uh, so here I am. <laughs> it just came from a culmination of trying. And I am still in the process of doing other things, too. Like, YouTube's not my only thing. At the beginning, I wanted YouTube just to be my main thing. But now I'm, like, expanding. And YouTube's kind of just, like, my secondary of just having time to spend in another outlet because i think that's how you should approach it at the beginning because it gets to be a lot it'll become a lot of pressure and then it, it gets it gets complicated yeah I, I hope that answered your question now just me yapping a lot okay come on let's get the rockets nice solid 
We don't have enough moment. Oh no, we missed it. We don't have enough momentum. Come on. Here we Oh, that was close. Come on. And also, like, I liked making mascots and animations, so that's why I also did it. My original channels were actually story channels and animation channels. Well, not animation, but there was, like, story channels. So I actually never made... I used to not make content even for, like, gaming. It was mainly just channels on, like, me writing and making scenarios for, like, TikTok and stuff. But then I switched to YouTube, and then I made a channel for, like, purely indie games. Well, actually, no, I tried, like, an animation channel. And then that was not the greatest, and then I made indie channel. I made three indie channels. I explained one for one for, um, in any indie game, like I'm doing now, and then one for chill indie games. So I made them all separate. And those were okay, but I just got burnt out. I didn't want to do it anymore. And then I came back. <clears throat> I got burnt out of those channels. And I was like, you know, I want to make now a uh, a brand. Oh, we got the honey. Nice. Honey's OP. I'm like, I want to make a brand. I want to make everything funnel into everything. And my number one name is Fruitler. So I was like, if we're going to make a channel this time, we're going to make it. We're not going to change anymore. We're just going to keep it as is. So I gave it my official name, Fruitler. That's not my official name, but that's the name I use for everything. So that's how you know I was pretty serious. <laughs> You're like, this is you serious, Fruitler? Didn't you just quit, man? I'm like, yeah. This is me giving it my all, which is pretty bad. <laughs> it's pretty pathetic. But um, here we are. At least we're back and going at it. So the Fruitler lore is not the craziest, but still pretty interesting, I think. It's still pretty interesting, but yeah, I would feel free to ask those questions because I know you don't, especially for the bigger um, streamers and YouTubers, you don't really get time to ask those type of questions. So for me, right now I got the time, so if you're interested, ask away. Oh, here we go. No, let's try at least break this one wall. I want to break this one wall and then we'll call it. I want to break this one wall. We're so close to breaking it. 34 mil? A lot of money. You know what? Uh, we'll save. We'll save. But yeah, we'll see how how um how much more the fruit of the lore will expand over time. Cause I still have a lot of memories of YouTube. Even when I quit, like I remembered a lot of things. I remembered like all the viewers, all the experiences. And you don't really forget, like, these are timeless. So that's why I also enjoy it, too. Like, the memories this creates. Very interesting. To say the least. <laughs> more interesting memories than, like... Yeah, more interesting memories for sure. That's all I can phrase it as. <laughs> like, I'll, I'll, I was, like, during my time off... I was, I'd randomly remember, like, do you remember I was making YouTube and stuff? I was like, dude, what was I doing, man? <laughs> I was like, what was I doing? That was, like, an interesting time. And then I was like, you know what? Let's try it again. Because honestly, I was like, how was, how did I even manage? Because I'm, I'm not that talkative. And I'm not that social, honestly. So it's like, I don't know how this is going to work. Because another reason why I quit is because, like, I couldn't really handle all the stuff going on. Because, like... There's a lot to process because you some of the comments are positive, negative, and it kind of gets to you at times. And then you're like, there's a lot of things to juggle. And then you're like, wow, this is way different than I would have expected. But I think also the cause for the quitting was like, it was a lot to... There was a lot more things to, that goes with it that I was not expecting to go with streaming and making content. A lot of things I didn't like. <laughs> But, um, because I was really surprised I even took the chance of making a YouTube channel and stuff. Because you are putting yourself out there. Oh, get the key. At the end of the day, you're putting yourself out there. And it can be uncomfortable because you're like, you are putting yourself out there to get judged and stuff, right? And it's, 
from random people that you don't know like technically we don't know each other like everyone's pretty much strangers right so that can be nerve-wracking for sure it can definitely be nerve-wracking and uh, scary so you can understand do you remember a guy named frutal i came from his channel oh really nice yes i do remember frutal no frutal yeah he's a he's a cool guy um we did our collab and stuff i hope he's doing well i haven't talked to him in a while I don't even... I told him I quit, so I don't know if he knows I came back. <laughs> I don't know if he knows I came back. But, um... No, that's awesome. He... He's, a uh, He's a young kid. Not super young. But he's still learning. And... But he's definitely way further than I was at his age. For sure, so... I don't know if he's still posting or not, but I, I still wish him the best... I know he was facing kind of similar slums to me at times. So, um, I was glad, I'm at least glad I was able to do the, um, the collab with him. Because he reached out to me. How, the collab was very interesting. He reached out to me and my rule during that time was I don't do collabs with anyone because I'm like, it's too much work and I didn't want to. It's too many factors, too many unknowns, and it gets can get awkward and stuff, right? And then you don't know, technically we're strangers, right? So I don't know anybody. But he reached out to me one day. He's like, yo, your name's Fruitler. People call me Fruitler as well. Would you like to do a collab? And I was like, this is insane because this name is super you. Fruitler is made up name. And I've never seen anyone ever mention this name ever. So it's super unique, right? And just the name itself is pretty unique. And I was like, the chances of meeting someone in this universe that has... His name is Fruitle. But, like, he also goes by Fruitler. I was like, to meet someone in this universe that's reaching out to me, that has this name as well, is Bunkers. And I was like, I don't do collabs, but this is so wild. Um, let's do a collab. I'm willing to do a collab. So we got to meet. We got to chat a little. We did our Minecraft thing. My, I messed up my audio. So for that stream, I unfortunately messed up my audio. But regardless, I still remember all of it. It was insane. We beat the whole game of Minecraft. We got really unlucky. And that that stream took forever, low-key. But I felt bad because I was, like, dying. But for him, it was super late because I think he lives in a different country. It was, su it was, like, 2 in the morning for him. And I was like, bro, we can just call it. I was like, we can just resume tomorrow. He's like, no, we'll just finish it right now. So we beat the Ender Dragon and everything. And it was wild. So that was a great stream. But from then on, I was like, I don't think I'm going to play Minecraft again because I beat it. And I was like, yo, I'm already sick of this. <laughs> but I'm really glad I got to meet him. So that was very interesting. Um, see, so like because I put myself out there and he put himself out there, we got interactions like that. And that's why I like the Internet, even though there's a lot of negatives, like with doing all this stuff gets a lot of positives like that, like meeting people. Like, I was still so surprised. I was like, I never in my life would think I'd come across another Fruitler. And, like, I'm a random person too. So he's like, how, who is this guy Fruitler? He just popped up out of nowhere. It's insane. So, um, life is, oh, we finally broke through. Life is wild at times. That's all I can say. That is all I can say. But I hope he's doing well. I I'm sure he's doing well. Whoa. What did we unlock? Hold on, hold on. We unlocked a bunch of stuff. Yo, this, this stream's going way longer than I expected. <laughs> Wait, we unlocked something. Oh. Recipe? Slightly sweet salsa? What is this? I don't even know what this is. But nice, you came from his channel though. That's awesome. I did not know that. I guess some people from his channel, um, stayed with mine. I'm surprised though, because we have vastly different, um, content. <laughs> He's more like the Minecraft and VR. I'm more just like a random. Like, I don't know what to classify my content as. But yeah. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. Who knows what the future holds? Life can be interesting at times. You never know. That's why, you know... I encourage you to try things and be more daring because at the end of the day, you never know what's going to happen. And 
I'll tell you this. Things in life don't just... To get things to go your way, you're going to have to put yourself out there and do something to, um, you know, get those results of yours that you're looking for, so. Oh, with the honey. Yeah, that's enough of my... I just like chill streams. The content doesn't matter. I can see that. Yeah, like for my content, that's what I'm going for. I'm trying to be more of a personality, as in like a chill personality streamer, than like a content creator. So my my focus is I'm more on the environment and making more interactions rather than like what's going on with the game. Even though the game is an added plus for sure. The game is an added plus for sure, but um, I'm trying to be more of a personality channel. <laughs> And just a vibing channel. Yay! But we'll see. We will never know what happens. We shall see. So yeah, once again, those are all good good suggestions. I'll, I'll try to get something with the viewers. I'll get the cuphead ready. And I'll try and get everything rolling up. A lot of things to expect. Or nothing to expect. Who knows? <laughs> I'll just be like, hey, y'all. I'm out of content. See y'all next time. Yeah, I can, I can maybe, like, I'm looking for maybe, like, hopefully they host. Because you got to get exposure, too. You got to market yourself well. So maybe if I can get into another... If there's like a content creator Fall Guys tournament or something, we can try and get in. I don't know. <laughs> something to help put us on the map would be great. Once again, I think you need connections and stuff to get into those type of things. I think getting into something like that would definitely bring more attention to the, uh, to the channel. I'd be down though to compete in one of those. Depending on the game, if it's like Valorant- Oh no, we're gonna get the honey. If it's like Valorant or something, I I wouldn't I could play, but I'd suck. But uh once again it's like those content creators don't know much about me and I don't know much about them, so I don't know how the gelling will work, so that's why I sometimes kinda just like leaving things to myself. And not having to focus on like everyone else. Because once you add other factors, like other content creators, then you have to like consider the other person and then just added layers to think about. But who knows? Who knows? You never know. YouTube's an interesting place. Good and bad. <laughs> Definitely good and bad. Oh, come on. We almost have the chicken. No. Oh. No, oh, oh, we got honey. No, unlucky. Okay, let's let's get one more upgrade. Let's get one more run in at least. Let's buy more honey. We can actually upgrade all these guys. What am I doing? I should upgrade everybody. Wait, we got plenty of money to upgrade all of them. We can go with these guys too. Okay, nice. Nice. There. No, we got the KO. Solid. Two hundred forty thousand. That is not much. The gummy bears give more than that. The gummy bears give more than that. Here we go. But yeah, I definitely think on YouTube and stuff, there's a niche for everything. So like, another two hour fruit of their stream. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, let's just keep it short today. And then I just get it. I just got addicted to this game right now. I couldn't stop. Honestly, this game is so addicting. <laughs> I gotta chill out a little sometimes. Alright, let's calm down. But, um... Yeah, once again, I think... There's a niche for anything, so... If you're looking to start YouTuber content creation... Don't feel like you have to do a certain type of content. Just, um... Because there's... There, you can make content out of anything, right? Just try and focus on making... Your channel and content upgrading it as much as you can almost three wow that's crazy this is probably my longest stream i've done so far 
Y'all kept me busy. That means we've been vibing well. <laughs> Today was a good vibing stream. Okay, we got a new high score. Solid. Pinata. Alrighty. I'm probably going to call it there. This was super long. Before we leave, though, any more last comments? Any questions, comments? If not, I'm going to call it right there. Let me just get these upgrades real quick. If we have any comments or anything, feel free to add. But if not, thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope to see y'all when I see y'all. And have a great rest of your day. And take care, y'all, okay? See you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank y'all for tuning in and watching. Peace.